new subscriber shout out. Subscriber shout out. Hey everybody, welcome back. Good to see you all here for Surviving the Aftermath, where we're going to start fresh with the recent update, which allows you to dig out an unlimited number of supplies in terms of concrete and plastic and steel. So now finally the game is sustainable and playable past kind of the midsection, and so we can have a population up over 100 and 200 and 300 more if we get up there. Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. You guys are fantastic. Thank you very much for dropping by. Thanks for all the new subs during our uh, little countdown, and thanks for just being here. Uh, we got Flip Horror and James, Patrick, and Chris who become subscribers, so thank you very much for doing that, and welcome to all the new members. Greatest way to support the channel, especially against the fight against Kappa, is just simply by clicking and tapping join, even at the lowest tier. By the power of bacon, I summon Raptor. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. All right, we need to start fresh. So I've got all these old saves of the old version of the game, and they've got to go. So excuse me for a second as we delete every old save of this game. We're going to start fresh today with the new update and uh, make sure that we can play this thing uh, to our heart's content, find a bunch of new people. Apparently there's also new 
uh, specialists that you can find that can go around the field and bring in some new stuff. Plus, plus there's new ways to get research and other items, so the game should, shouldn't be as much of a grind as it used to be, but there's new stuff to research, so it kind of balances out. So if you guys like this game and want to see more, make sure you drop off your like at the door. It's a free of charge way to support the channel too, and I appreciate everybody hanging out with me, supporting me, and leaving a like. That's a great way to support. I love that. I love seeing those likes. And I love seeing you guys simply spam tacos in chat. One taco per member. Please appreciate that. Thanks, guys. All right. We're going to start fresh now with a new game. Now, apparently, also, my logo is in this game. I don't know if the devs saw me playing this. It seems pretty similar to the Raptor logo. I'm not saying it is, but I'm just saying it's pretty similar. So let's go ahead and not take the tutorial. And since the game is still in development, I'm going to go down the middle of the road again just because, like... I, who knows, there could be another update to break this game, and I just don't really want to restart after going through, like, being on 100% difficulty, so I'm just going to try to go down the middle of the road for disasters and for uh, research. I'm going to go with the bunker, though, so we can get started faster. Having the easier start for the bunker just gives you more supplies, so that's totally fine. Um, then survivors, let's go with middle. And numerous challenges down the middle. Uh, let's see, we'll go down the middle here at Gatekeeper. And here's my logo, kinda. Does that look like me? Or at least my logo? <laughs> is that, what do you guys think? Is, is that me, or what? I mean, you see the logo there for when you subscribed, right? I mean, is that, it's in the game. I mean, I don't know. It can't be me, I don't know. It's pretty close though. That looks nothing like it? Mm, I don't know, it's pretty close. The dinosaur looking to the left with its mouth open. Mm, it's pretty close. It's it's not it's not a copy, but it's pretty it's close. So I think we have to go with that. But we do need a name for our group. So does anyone want to come up with a good name? What do you guys think? What would be a good uh, colony name and our colony motto? I think we actually kind of have to call it Raptoria, to be honest, because actually it's like it's actually like the logo for sure. All right, let's go with that one. This is like a, a Chinese knockoff Raptor. Yeah, if they were making counterfeit Raptor merchandise, this is what it would look like. And underneath it would say like, it would say like Reptar or something below it. Or like Dinosaur or something. Alright. We need a good slogan now. Good good colony logo. Thou shall not yield. Wow. I like that one. That's good. Keep them coming. What else we got? To the hunt. Oh, that's nice. Eat meat. Oh, wow. <laughs> Should we make it eat at Joe's? Uh, let's see. Unity equals strength. That's a good one, but I don't know. I, I, it's hard to decide between either to the hunt or uh, thou shall not yield. Uh, uh, mm, I don't know. And we'll just go with long live Raptoria. And we begin again. Welcome to all the people who made it out, by the way. This video will be suppressed because I made a few other videos today. And if you make too much content, YouTube doesn't send out the notifications because they consider it spam. They really take, like, the uh, the ability for people to be their own adults away from them. Like, if you subscribe to a channel that makes a lot of videos per day, it's on you whether or not you want to watch it. Like, you'll click and tap on videos you want to watch or not. It shouldn't be YouTube being like, yeah, we didn't think you wanted to see that. So, it's like that's like, you know what that's like? That's like Jafar from Aladdin, where, like, Jafar is, like, this evil background guy, and it's like, you're the viewer, you're, like, the, the carefree sultan, but Jafar is kind of, like, manipulating you by, you know, doing things in the background. It's like, dude, let people subscribe and watch what they want. Stop. Just stop, YouTube. Stop it. Yeah, but the money, though. Yeah, just stop. Just stop. All right, let's go ahead and begin with a no tutorial. Now, this time around, we can't build water wells on top of each other. Um, not because it'll... Uh, provide a deficit, but because uh, I think it'll prevent us from building close to each other, so we'll have to see how that works now. So, Aladdin, 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 I think I've heard it both ways. But all it makes me want is like, uh, well, it makes me want food whenever I hear Aladdin. It makes me think of dinner. Is anyone else that way? YouTube butthurt? No, YouTube's just trying... They're a corporation. They're trying to make the most amount of money. So that's why late-night TV show hosts are all over it. Because that platform is dead and dying, but NBC and all the other corporations, Fox included, and everyone's just like, hey, how about a bunch of money to put our stuff first? Like, wow. Okay, well, let's get started. We have ourselves a new colony. 
Now the gate can be upgraded too, so we can also upgrade the gate to level 2. And it's been a while since I played, so let me get the hang of it again. And let's see what else is around here. Looks like all the things are the same in terms of piles of uh, metal and plastic. So that's cool. And we'll start by building our road from the camp. Actually, I like not building a road here because it's literally a road. So let's start laying out our camp ahead of time. So that way we can make things properly. It looks like the left side is going to be perfect for crop growth. Actually, over here too. So, but we'll have to cut down these trees to get it out of the way. We'll have to do a little bit of farming up here. Let's start building our emergency tents. And start getting everyone functioning. Make like a town square here, maybe? Out. Arthur, thanks for seven. I'm going to lay things out on pause for a little while, and then we'll get started with the, the full game here. Alright. Let's grow this a little bit. Nice. Okay, that's plenty of food for us. Then I'm going to put some stockpiles towards the front door. Thanks to you, you got, you got transport fever because you saw the vids. Awesome. It's good to see people buying games based on uh, my quote-unquote recommendations. All this empty space, too, is great because this is uh, where we can actually pick up unlimited materials, too. Like over here on, on this barren land, that's where you build all the excavators and stuff. Okay, let's build some stockpiles here to hold all of our stuff in the future. How are things going today, YouTuber? They're going good. We got a lot of great support, a lot of good likes, people dropping off their likes at the door and hanging out and saying hi. I do appreciate that. Oh, there's a giant lake next to us. Oh, the map looks good. All right. Yeah, so thanks as always, everybody, for the support. So what was added? Well, we kind of already went over it. Got to click that notification bell so you're not late. Don't be late. Okay, let's see. I'm going to add... Uh, a couple of farm fields here to get us started. Then we need some shelters. Is there a way to rotate? There should be, right? Oh, also trappers. Uh, I'm just going to lay this stuff out first, but then we're going to... Unpause in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people say they're first. But what you really want to do is make sure you like before somebody else, like, uh, get in before 100 likes. That's the, that's like, like how you register that you were here. Makes it official. You should change it up and put it, uh, housing in the back away from the gate. Well, if I do that, then this is all of our fertile soil. I don't want to build here, because this is where we need to put our farming. What I'm probably going to do is build our homes here, industrial area here, and then farming here, just based on how the map is laid out. Because if I do it any other way, I'm going to block our farms. And then that means we're going to die. And that is, uh, as they say in Spain, uh, tre bien. What is that little piece there? There's like a little... That's nuclear waste all the way over here? I'm clicking here, and that's all the way over there. Okay, that's that doesn't make sense, but all right. Well, let's build a couple of emergency shelters. And that holds how many people? Six? Yeah. And how many survivors do we have? Ten. So that should be twelve. We'll have enough homes for everybody. Alright, let's pause everything else. And let the games begin. Where's the uh, pause button? There we go. Okay, so if you guys could start building first the homes. Then we'll need to build a... Uh, Let's see, fishing hut, trapper. Oh, we should probably build another water well. So yeah, now in the game, if you overlap... Yeah, there you go. Work area efficiency is what you can see. Okay, so now overlapping doesn't count. Or it does count, but you, you don't want to build them next to each other. So let's build a few more wells. Maybe we'll build a well up here by the fishing hut. And then another one over by... New subscriber shout-out. Uh, this scrap pile here. Okay, now we got to set up gathering areas for materials. 
Let's grab wood and concrete from over here. Good. Hopefully no one gets sick swimming through the nuclear sludge. I'm pretty sure they're fine. Uh, too bad chat is blocking stream on your big screen on, on your phone. There should be a way to minimize that, I think, if you go into full screen. Yeah, we're keeping everybody hydrated. This stream is sponsored by Gatorade, guys. No better... It's the drink of the apocalypse. Cool. Camp's already looking pretty good. Now, hopefully we don't run out of tools and everything. And now, finally, we can have a bigger population, which is great. So we don't have to worry about getting to, like... Before, it was, like, after 50 people, it was unsustainable. But now, we don't have to worry about that as much. We have housing for 12... Building some extra water. Next thing we build should be our stockpiles then, so I can go grab different materials. And let's also start construction on our farms. Okay, good. And then we need to start construction on the wall. Or on the gate. That's going to require some steel and such, so we'll work on that soon. What is that? Animal might occasionally attack colonists. Oh, okay. I don't know how we'll take care of him. I don't. Maybe the uh, trapper will get rid of him. Okay, we do need to build our scrapper now, so that way we can start bringing in materials. We'll build him off in the industrial area over here. There we go. And then we'll also put in the recycler. But we have to start with the scrapper first. Wow, look at everybody hustle. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a wild boar for sure. I wonder if we can actually get a, like a trapper to, to capture him and make the area secure. Because you can't, you can't really build any military buildings at the moment, but eventually the game might have that in a future update. It'd be super cool if you could have like, uh, people of your camp go out and uh, attack or whatever. Whatever you wanted to do, like be good or bad. Okay, so the scrapper's going up now. Small field is complete, great. What do we have for seeds here? Corn and potato. We'll go potatoes. Alright. Cool. And the stockpiles are ready, so let's make sure we gain all the... Clear up everything around camp. That way we can clear out these areas and use them for building. All right, we're going to start with our tater farms first. Sing you a lullaby? Oh, don't worry. The uh, stream will be boring enough. You'll you'll fall asleep soon. <laughs> Mediocre at best, I'm sure. Again, if you're watching and you're not, you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do that. Your name should pop up here, and we'll welcome you aboard to the stream for subscribing. And uh, welcome aboard to everybody here. I'm really excited to get started with a fresh fresh run of this game. It's really nice. New subscriber Let's build a medical tent there, too. And the scrapper will soon be running, and we'll grab our first pile of scrap from there. Uh, Vales, Jill, Arthur, Liam, thank you for subbing. Big O shoutouts to you. Thank you for being here. Hello, Jose. How you doing? We need some minions working for us. Well, as soon as we get the gate open, then we get additional workers. So things really start to speed up after you finish the uh, gate construction. And now that we've got our scrapper up, we can do just that. Ooh, two big O piles of scrap. Good. There we go. Yeah, if you get, if you want to get this game, it is available on Xbox right now or the Epic Game Store. And eventually when it fully releases, because this is an early access of the game, uh, it will be released on uh, Steam when it's fully like completed. But I don't know when that will be, sometime next year. Okay. Well, now let's start working on our gate. I forget exactly how to do that. Uh, New subscriber shout out. Oh yeah, we have to go to the build menu. There we go. Okay. Fritz, thanks for seven. So now we can construct the gate, and that requires a bit of material. My plastic, we've got three. Ah, oh, we might need to complete the uh, recycler then to fully do that. I don't know if the materials have changed. I think that's all the same. But we'll get one more person working over there, and we'll be good. If you can say prefer Steam or Epic, I think Steam is just much more 
complete and there's a bigger support of it because Steam does these big sales often and there's like user reviews and there's a there's more of a sense of a community on Steam. Um, Epic Game Store is kind of just like um, not, not yet complete and people don't like exclusivity. You know, it, it's the same thing with like Comcast and stuff where it's like people prefer to use something else but they're forced to use it if, to get the thing they want. So people really don't like that uh, when they have to download yet another launcher. It's the same with, like, now you've got Disney+, Plus, HBO. You've got, like, 36 different streaming services that you need just to watch uh, four movies now. And so it's the same with this, where you have to have, like, the Uplay Store and Origin and Steam and Epic Game Store. And it's just... And then, of course, uh, there's Apple Arcade, and there's just all these different services you need just to play games now. It's annoying. All right, the... Uh, Recycler will be finished soon. Let's speed up time. Wow, we're not even... The first day isn't even over, and look at all of the work our people have done. They built some roads, two tents. They've already got a few buildings up. Good work, everybody. Good work, indeed. Yes, we'll need this white sand for the extractor later. Yeah, I've tested that out, so I'm, I'm well aware that we need to build uh, concrete extractors, plastic, and... The other one can all be put here. But by the time we build those, we won't need these buildings anymore. So we'll probably end up uh, moving these somewhere else. Make a series of this? Well, I need all the support I can get to, uh, you know, keep on playing these. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And tune into all the live streams so I can keep on doing it. Otherwise, I assume people are disinterested and i got to move on to the next thing. Plus, you know that it's that time of year where 48 games are coming out before the end of the year. And there's not enough time to play them all. All right, so the gate is getting constructed. Some materials are being brought over. And we're gathering wood, too. Good, good. Our people are... Oh, yeah, perfect. They're bringing wood right over here. Excellent. Good. It's just going to take a little longer since we built a few other things. You'll always support me? Well, thank you, El Traco. I appreciate that. I know. I always just have to remind people to, to leave a like and stuff, because that's what you do as a YouTuber. You always got to remind... Nope, I don't think the game's coming to PS4. Alright, the fishing hut will be the next thing completed. I'm going to go ahead and pause that, because I, I just want to get the gate done. So the recycler and the gate are the only things we should be working on. Hi there, Caleb. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so the recycler is going up. That's done now. Perfect. we got a pile right there, so that's really close. Good, now we can start making clothes after this. Okay, as soon as the gate is up, we can then finally start our adventure. We can get more people into the camp and we can start sending out scouts so that way we can uh, go and bring back more materials. You recently found the channel, good stuff. Excellent, thanks for the support, Brian. All right, the main gate just requires a bit more concrete. I wonder if we're finding any concrete nearby. Oh yeah, we're harvesting from this structure over here. And we already got people working on farming. That's a good call. Oh wow, 42 metal? Whoa, nice work. Uh, let's get these two people off the scrapper for now and have them go on to the plastic job. Get that done so we can complete the gate as soon as possible. Big Noso, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard. It's morning here and you didn't even notice you didn't even sleep? Wow. I can't remember, but I don't think you can make walls all the way around the camp. Well, they've replaced the walls now with this, like... So you see how the fence is kind of, like, weird now? Like, there's sections of the fence that are, like, up in the air? They, uh, put in this new, like, skybox around the map that looks like you're stuck in a valley or something like that. To try to make it so that way people are kind of forced to take the main road. So now it's like we're, we're trapped in this, like, uh, valley or whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Mutated colonist? Uh, he's been healed. That's why we put down the medical station. We should have all the materials we need. Yeah, now they're constructing the wall. Perfect. Or I guess, quote-unquote, the gate. 
which sounds way way better because we can upgrade it too to have watchtowers and like uh, uh, like lights and stuff. It's it looks really cool. Can't do any more when I was young. I already beat the game. It was a small demo, and I already completed it. If you watch the end of that video, you'd see that it reached the end of the demo, and there's nothing more I can do on it. Make sure you watch that video in its entirety so you can see when the release date is. All right, now we got the gate here, and we should have our first survivors appear. Excellent. There they are. All right. We've got Absalom. What the hell? All right, we're just going to call him Aaron. Uh, let's see... Good leadership. Excellent exploration. Excellent. And he's bringing in three adults. Good. What is that material? Is that worms? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, I think that's, yeah, that's, I think, worms from the, uh, for protein. You can just eat those. Awesome. All right, let's get our boy to go out and explore. Go there. Perfect. All right, we'll bring him back tomorrow. All right, let's get people working on scrapping. Make sure we got every job fulfilled now and start building some more shelters until we get upgraded homes. There we go. Wave of bandits will attack every few days. Oh, is that part of the update? Oh, you're wishing that's what happened. I gotcha. Yeah, guns would be cool, though. It would be... It's more interesting to, I think, to have, like, dudes shoot bow and arrows and, like, crossbows from trucks and stuff and then make gunpowder and guns really, really rare to make them more powerful. Because if everyone had a gun, it'd just kind of be a shootout simulator, but it would be so cool in this game if you could build, like, a big rig loaded up with... That makes me want to watch Mad Max again tonight. I think that's what I'm going to do is watch Mad Max. That game is so... That movie is so cool. I want to play the game again. All right, we brought back our food, didn't we? Or did I not? New subscriber shout out. But how do you tell him to drop off stuff? He has 19 food. Did you... What? Oh, it looks like he did drop it off, but in two waves. Okay, then we'll start exploring. Got it. Why don't they add nukes to this game? Uh, because it's like post-apocalypse, so I guess nobody knows how to... Nobody knows how to launch nukes anymore, or they've all been launched already. This game could take place after anything. A huge tsunami, like a meteorite hit Earth. I mean, you can make up whatever you want. Like, maybe the Wi-Fi went down, and so humanity's over. Nobody can get on Facebook and Twitter, and so now they've just gone to war because they were bored. I don't know. I don't know. Move this work area over here. Wow, there's a lot more resources in the new maps, too. I really want these geothermal vents like this to provide some sort of resource. Like, I want to be able to uh, build a thing on top of that to, like, get some sort of geothermal power. Uh, what update are you playing? When was it released? Uh, the most recent one? I just updated the game, so... Uh, let's see, there's a brawl. Give them medicine. There we go. No brawls. Be good. Okay, let's slow down time now and really start doing some building. We need more uh, scavengers so we can go out and do research. I need to get those research points back. He has 16 food. Is he not bringing that back to camp? That's weird. Oh, it looks like he can bring back and then move again. Cool. Okay, concrete there. I don't think we need that. We'll get that later. I think uh, water is good. We need more wood. And we should probably start with a tool maker and a clothing maker. Well, let's start putting those down. What if we can get a baker and a candlestick maker next? Excellent. Yeah, there are scientists in the game. Like, there is a, a woman who... I think if you get a certain specialist she'll eventually, like, try to go out on special missions, and you can approve or deny them. And if, if she goes out and brings stuff back, she brings back a lot of research points. Like, it could be a hundred research points. Uh, so the bug with people moving anymore should be fixed. Well, they say that every update. Like, every update they have to fix that. But I had a huge colony before, and the reason I'm restarting is just because I was tired of it, like, being kind of quote-unquote glitchy. So a fresh start on a fresh new update feels good. And it shouldn't take too long to get back to where we were anymore, because they've added a lot of new ways to get resources, infinite resources now, for everything. 
Except for like medicine, you still have to go and grab that. It's same as with the components and electronics and fun boxes. Although I don't think they've incorporated electronics into the game. But parts can be made from the uh, the maintenance bay or whatever it's called. Is this Dawn of Man? Uh, yeah, it's the Rebirth of Man, basically. Alright, how's our scout? Is he ready to move yet? Now yeah, we're gonna go north next. Call the scientist Mr. Rogers? I don't think you can change your name. Oh wow, we're almost out of berries again. Those don't last long at all. Let's add another fisher. We're gonna have to switch people over to tool making. I need more workers now. Yeah, it'd be great if there was like a... I really want there to be a vehicle bay that you can make like vehicles to... Like it'd be really cool if you could build a vehicle like a dump truck. And then you could like send the dump truck out to certain areas to pick up supplies. Or you could build like a bus to bring back survivors. Or you could build a like a water vehicle or something to bring back fuel or water or whatever. Or maybe a mix of both. Maybe add a little water to a little gasoline. You know. It works. Pretty sure. What we need is a cargo shipping line. Yeah, let me go ahead and put a couple of bus stops now so people can get over to the other city. Maybe we could build a regional airport over here. Just got to cut down all these trees, get rid of the nu nuclear waste, and then, you know, redesign uh, society. And then we should be good to go. All right, we're out of berries. Uh, let's put more over... Let's try to get the closest berries, I guess. Oh, there's tons over here. Perfect. Bye. Uh, yeah, Hayden, uh, don't spam chat with game requests. If you guys want to request games, all you gotta do is click or tap join, and that'll Ooh, let you become a member, out. and then hop on Discord and let me know there, because otherwise I'll just forget. Because, like, when I'm busy playing, you know, games like Surviving the Aftermath, I'm focused on this, and I don't, I just don't remember. I don't, I don't member. Member? I member. No airplanes, please, monorail. Ooh, that'd be a cool method in, uh, in that game. That'd be cool. Okay, so we're low on concrete and wood. Our specialist is close to getting con wood, but concrete's coming in slow. Looks like they're still gathering it. And looks like we have a new job. A couple of colonists have spotted a vehicle nearby. Go for it. They brought back nine clothes and two components. Awesome. Good find. You're making a peanut butter sandwich? Oh, very nice. Alright, let's bring back that... Or that uh, lumber. That's definitely useful. So he's carrying 38 and left behind 9. That's not bad. $5 from SD. Raptor, if they added trucks, it would be like floatsome for sure. Glory to Raptoria. I'd love to see vehicles in this game. Like, I want to be able to build multiple cities. It'd be cool to make it kind of like Rome Total War. And also a city builder. I mean, this could, this could be like ten different games in one. The idea is pretty cool, though. Juan, thanks for subbing. Uh, why no face cam? I just haven't been using it lately. Sometimes it gets in the way because I gotta like set up the green screen and then I gotta balance the lighting. And now it's really gloomy in Minnesota, so it's bright all the time. But then it gets dark at like five p.m. Like it, it's like the outside just turns off, and it's like, ugh. No free carriers. Oh, we gotta get rid of some uh, harvesters then. Let's go and cut back on plastic and metal. We don't need those as much. Lots of good food coming in, and the farms are doing really nicely. I think that's food there, yeah. Heather, you subscribe? Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, if you're a new sub, your name will pop up. If you've subscribed before, and YouTube on subbed you, or if you resubscribe, it, it'll only pop up once. Sunglasses must be broken. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we've got uh, plastic and metal being brought in. Good. Specialist ready for action. Alright. Bring back that lumber, my man. Actually, can he grab some more of it and then come back? Oh, he can grab it all. Cool. I will send him back momentarily. Do, 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 do. 
Gate's upgraded. Uh, we can upgrade the gate, but we need research points for it. That is a new part of the tech tree. So that's a new thing they added. The upgraded gate lets you see more information about the people who are arriving at the camp. So if some of them happen to be diseased, you can tell before you let them in. So you can make better decisions. Before it was just kind of like a, a dice roll. Well, let's clear all the resources around our camp first. Let's go with that. There we go. SD with $2. We reached 100 likes. All right, we did. Thank you, guys. Yeah, likes are a great way to support a channel for literally no money. It's not like it's a currency. Some people are, like, really protective of their like as if they can only give away five a day or something. It's like, no, just like all the stuff you like so we can make more. Is the gate repaired? Yes, the gate is repaired. It is ready to go. And we've even got our little dino flag there. Look at that. Developers added in the game just for me, I'm pretty sure, guys. How many likes do I want? Let's not get more than 116 likes. Any more in the stream, then I'd have to be like a good YouTuber, and I really don't want to live up to that expectation. I'd hate that. So please, no no more than... Oh no, we got to 117. No more, though. No more. No, now we're at 118. Stop. No more than no more than 120, though. No more than 120. Stop. Okay, chat. Seriously? Stop. Behave. <laughs> Alright, good. Specialist ready to rock. Let's bring back that lumber. Good job, bro. Now we can go over here. Oh, I love this too, by the way. The new thing is when they get... I don't know if this is new or not, but when he comes back, if he has movement points, he can drop off and then go out again. I think before they had to stop at the camp. So, so long as they're not wounded, you can keep on rolling. If you want. Alright, let's go for plastic next. Reverse psychology to get likes. Yeah, it's all part of my evil plan, is to get likes. Alright, ooh. A wandering merchant. Whoa, he wants 12 metal for 148 research? Bro, that is the best deal ever. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. That is awesome. Research is so cool. All right, now we can start for real. Uh, communal eating is good. Uh, communal living. I think food should probably be our first concern, just to make sure. Let's go with communal eating. That allows us to do the cookhouse and logging camp. I'm going to need to get more people to do that. Uh, Heather, you've spammed that question now for the fourth time now, I think. SD says, I love giving Raptor all my money. Yeah, I love it too. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Don't stop. Now, it's your money. You do what you want. With my money, I like to buy a lot of bubble gum from the, uh, the mall. I like that. Okay, let's buy or build a Worcester? No, logging camp. So logging camp is what makes the little logs for the cookhouse. Heather Eggers asks, how, how have you been? I'm good. Today is a good day. And it's a good stream, too. Alright, let's build... Uh, we'll build our logging camp. Actually, I don't know if I want to put... Ooh, didn't want to go that far. We need to build somewhere where we need to get rid of some trees. Yeah, I can cut down all the trees here and we can do some more farming. Oh, but there's a lot of little trees over there. A lot of little happy trees. You know who likes happy trees? Anyone remember that guy's name? I think his name was like... Cobb Doss or something like that? Or... I think it was Rob... Rob Boss was his name. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Rob Boss. New subscriber shout out. Oh, I can't make roads because our nuclear waste is in the way. All right, we'll get rid of that later. Now, we need to build a cookhouse for Jesse and Walter White. So let's put one of those down. I guess we'll put it at the end of the block. There we go. All right, specialist ready to move. Go grab some plastic, my man. There we are. Do, do, do. Yeah, medium speed is a good speed to play Hi there, Flamer. What's up? Welcome back. How are things in the uh, the New Zealand? Not the old, the old Zealand. The new one. Yeah, we're making some happy little profits. No, really, this game is more about survival. That's what's kind of cool about this game is that it's not you're not making money. You just you trade 
like real goods, and people will pull up with some good deals. So far, we got a really good deal with the cookhouse and the uh, other thing, but now I need more people to work the jobs. It's telling me to build an additional warehouse. Oh, that's true. If I'm going to distribute clothing and clothes, we need to build that other warehouse. Let's do that, too. Put that right there. Do I support Team Trees? Hell no, we're cutting down trees so we can make some firewood. So we can make some McDonald's and Arby's. I remember Dawn of War Ma Raptor, please play replay. Yeah, I'll get back to some... So games that I'm not going to play for a while are like all the... Like Ostrev, Dawn of Man, Foundation. I'm going to wait a while until I play those until they have a big update. So I can come back and, uh, you know, kind of start fresh on that. There's nothing wrong with those games. I like them, but I'm like burnt... I'm a little burnt out on the old games. Not that they're bad. But we'll come back. Uh, the base should have been called Barter Town. Well, who runs Barter Town? Certainly ain't you. I run Barter Town. Or no, you run Barter Town. Okay, we got the plastic. We don't need to come back right away, so let's scout. Ooh, there's some research. Wow, 372, brah. Actually, we should say that till we find a scientist, because we can get double on that research. No free carriers. Uh-oh. Uh... Mm -hmm. Well, food is doing pretty good. Let's cut down on the farming, then. Or the fishing. What other jobs can we cut? Uh, I think we can cut the healthcare until somebody's actually sick. Alright, that works. You like when I did Sniper Ghost War Warrior Contracts? That game was fun. I really did like that game. I was no good at it, but I... I mean, I did get some pretty sweet kills. But it really felt like a... It, it felt like a Hitman game. It was more like Hitman Sniper, is what it should have been called. And that was pretty cool. It was a really casual game that you could just... Get some cool shots on and walk away and be like, Yeah, that was, that was cool. Good game. Okay, what materials are we missing? Mostly concrete now. But we are gathering. It's just not fast enough. We need more workers. But no more likes, though. I don't want any more likes in chat. I uh, know the game's not multiplayer. Not yet, anyway. I, I don't think this would be a multiplayer uh, type game, though. Wow, we already gathered all that plastic. Okay. Go up there, then. Specialist ready for action. All right, man. What's his scientist level? Research is two. Mm, I think we'll wait until we find another person to go claim some of that. Or not. I forget how it works. If they have higher research, does that mean that they bring back more research in one move? Or or does it increase the total research? I'm going to go ahead and just avoid that for now. Food? Uh, we don't necessarily need food. But it's still fine. We're finding good stuff here. Good stuff. I see AoE 2 is on your list. Are you interested in AoE 4? Yes, both. Unfortunately, I requested a key from the developers for that uh, Age of Empires 2 before it came out, and they, did, they didn't get back to me, and, and then I got buried in other games. So, please play Cockroach Simulator, I don't, and don't disrespect my question. I need a firm answer. Will you ever play Cockroach simula Simulator? I, I mean, I'd, probably not. I don't know. I'd have to look into it and see if it was appealing. All my games are like bananas. They have to be appealing and filled with uh, potassium, too does a body good kids remember eat your potassium the higher a specialist research the more research points he'll get in one turn thank you good confirmation I couldn't remember if like if, if it could multiply because they were a scientist and so they learn more but it's it's just like with scavenger the higher scavenger the more they can carry in in each turn so thank you for the clarification eat your lithium yeah kids very important Vitamin H is also very important. Another... Ooh, more scrap metal. Let's move our work zone. 
cool. Now they can gather from two. Wow, look at that. 92 and another 80. So we got metal for a long time. We got ACDC and Metallica right here. That's a lot of metal. Damn it, not nuclear fallout. No, that's the worst one that could come. All right. Well, now we got to start harvesting our crops. Oh, boy. This is going to be hell. I'll let it grow on, on one day before. We'll let it grow a bit. Oh, nuclear fallout is brutal when it comes through. That means a lot of our people are going to get sick. I should probably build another medical tent to accommodate that. Uh, let's build another medical tent here. And it looks like we've discovered metal. Awesome. Although we don't need any more of that. So I guess we'll just keep on scouting for a while. Uh, yeah, we need iodine pills. Hopefully the apoc... What is her name? The apocathery? Roland, thanks for seven. Uh, what are dino dollars for? Oh, you can read about those down below in the description. They're for fun sound effects and ways to interact with stream. I'm super mega ultra out of date of doing that. Also, uh, if you're owed dino dollars from becoming a member, make sure you go to the community tab and comment and remind me to give you some because, um... It, it seems that some people are getting them, but not all, so I can't, like, give them to everybody because I don't know who got them and who didn't. So if you're a member, click or tap exclamation point, or rather, just type exclamation point points, and then uh, you should be able to see how many dino dollars you have. You should at least have 100. Everybody who's a member should at least have 100, but as you're a viewer, you should also get points, too. Um, yeah, Colt, you can check if you'd like. But just go to the community tab and comment because I'm... I'm going to leave it up to uh, everybody who read that post to, to reply if they got it or not. Because I, there's 500 people who are members and I can't check them all, unfortunately. The system is really poor for filtering that. Okay, now we're making tools. Awesome. So now we got tools and clothing coming in from the tailor and from the... We got plenty of fibers. Great. Now we can finally play. Still low on concrete, though. Should probably go pick up concrete, then. Uh, but we'd have to beat up one of those guys. But there's a lot of concrete there. Let's just keep scouting and then we'll circle around the concrete. Ooh. Auto mechanic parts. That's valuable. Alright, we'll make a stop there. Uh, Jack, I already responded to that question. Man, people ask questions and like, what do you guys do? Walk away from your computer? <laughs> Imagine being at a press conference. Mr. President, I have a question, okay? I noticed that you really like to use Barbasol for your shaving cream. Is that true? Oh, yeah, Barbasol is pretty good. I also use some uh, gel foam action from time to time. But, uh, Mr. President, do you like Barbasol? Yeah, I, Barbasol is good. I mean, there's other brands, but sure, why not? Mr. President, please answer the question. Do you like Barbasol? Yes, I like Barbasol. It's fine. Okay, he's not answering my questions. Pre Miss President, quit dodging the question. It's like, <laughs> you had a TV show going, my apologies. It's fine, Jack, don't worry. I'm just making some fun. Okay, now we got a day until the nuclear fallout comes, so let's start harvesting these potatoes and get ready for everyone to die. Yay! Carl, you got your new green badge? Awesome. The longer you support, the cooler your badge gets. Nobody has a cooler badge than Colt. And also another guy named AI Cave. Uh-oh, we're out of uh, transporters now. Jeez, I have too many jobs. All right, ma'am, you need to... Let's go ahead and stop you. I need more employees here. Somebody come to my gate. I need more people. Oh, good. Noah's an adult now. He's just grown up. Oh, yeah, we need to build a school. That's super important. But we need to research that. How much is school? School is... 200, oh, plus another 100, so we need 300 points at least to research school. You keep set, re, forgetting to send the revised version? Oh, that's okay. Send it anytime you're ready, Cole. Shout out. Brayden, thanks for subbing. Alright, let's grab those parts. So we're gonna go grab two of those, then we're gonna swing to the concrete plant. And then maybe swing through camp and go south. Kind of take a swing around. Uh, Carl, you haven't got your 100 dino dollars. It's been a month. Please, ca uh, Cal, sorry. Cal, make sure you uh, message on the community tab. After the stream, go to my channel.
click or tap on the community tab on the top, and then just leave a comment to remind me, because I'm making a checklist of everybody who said they didn't, so that way I can respond and say that I did it. You guys are owed 100 dino dollars, and it is my promise to do so, so please uh, remind me so I can get it done for you. Oh, good, we got a new member. Excellent, Hakeem is here. Perfect, and he's got five research. Excellent. Two adults, one children. Okay, come on in. Awesome. All right, Hakeem, we're going to send you up to the old research facility. Go get that science, bruh. Hell yeah. Oh, we're going to get that school up and running, too. How do we tell how many kids we have? Three children. Okay. Oh, we're not getting a lot of people to go on the heists. People can earn more dino dollars by typing exclamation point heist in chat. That's a good way to get some more free dino dollars so you can play some fun sound effects. I got more sound effects to include. I gotta do more. Okay, let's build a road. Okay, we need to have this uh, logging camp up and running soon. Okay, at least we've got plenty of food. Let's make some more water, just in case we get a drought. Uh, can I build over here? Yeah, let's build over by the nuclear waste. I'm sure that's perfect. Doesn't seem like there's any consequence for building next to nuclear fallout, so that's fine. Speaking of which, we have zero days until that, so let's start firing up the medical tents. They can account for two people, so we're going to need another one. We're going to get a lot of sick people. And hell, we got to build a burial tent, too. Build one of those over here. And I have a lot of dead. Eh, let's see... Man, you members are so helpful to each other. Thank you. You guys are the best. Thanks for helping to moderate the community, too, by sending out those extra... If you guys know... If someone has a question, you know the answer. Feel free to answer for me. Sometimes I miss people, too, because... You know, chat can be awfully busy. So thanks for the help. All right. Hakeem is ready for more research. Go, baby. Get that... Gobble up that research, Hakeem. There you go. Yeah. Look, we got Dank Kush Research Science Points now. That is awesome. Happy little trees. Oh, that's what Bob was talking about. Oh. Oh, I see. I see now, Bob. I see. Well, let's do some research. Uh, advanced farming would allow us to build a large and medium field. Production helps us to recycle junk. Communal living and education. I feel that's important. And now we can actually build some decent houses, too. Let's go for... Let's go for education. And then we're going to go down the food line. Yeah. Let's do education first. Which is under colony. Communal living. Education. General storage. Go with that too. Get that out of the way. All right, so let's build our school. I love the school. It's literally just a broken down school bus that they just happen to drag into the camp and <laughs> just set up class in the old school bus. I believe its uh, former owner was uh, Miss Frizzle. She was found dead in the passenger seat. So just drag that corpse out of there and fire up the school. I don't want to build it in this area, though. I want to build our extractors over here, eventually. Ah, there's so much nuclear waste in the way. Ah, here's the nuclear fallout now. Well, let's hope that everybody builds this first. Oh, good, they're building the medical tent. Trying to build the school over here somewhere. I gotta get I gotta get that environmental hazmat up right away so we can get this stuff cleared out of here. Miss Frizzle started the nuclear pop. Yeah, it's it's possible. She may have she may have started some stuff. Alright, 
right, let's go get that concrete now. Seems that's our major shortage is concrete. Yeah, there's too much nuclear waste around for me to build this. Well, I'll just build it here for now and we'll end up moving it later. There we go. Alright. Make sure we start with that as a priority. People die after the nuclear fallout. That's that's when the that's the most dangerous time. I'll start cutting those trees down. Somebody's at the gate. Oh, this crazy guy. Sometimes he turns out okay, but sometimes he steals stuff. And since we haven't built the storage bin, he might end up stealing stuff. But let's see what happens. Yep, he stole five food. Skip event, debug, failsafe. Oh, wait, what? As soon as you open the gate, closest pile of food. Skip event. Oh, I guess there was a bug with that. Okay, so no, no consequence. We got away scot-free. Cool. Uh-oh. We got some glowers. Alright, we're going to have a lot of them unemployed very soon. Let's shut down these for a little bit. Oh yeah, farmers, stop that. Start working on construction. We should have enough capacity for six people now. As soon as that's done. Alright, Hakeem is ready for more supply gathering. I think we will go on scouting duty to the north. Northwest. He was trying to steal corn, but you didn't have any? Yeah. Now I guess that's why it was a debug failure. They haven't programmed it in, I guess, for him to steal any generic food. But sometimes that guy steals, other times the guy, like, comes in and actually joins you. And it's just like a free citizen. Most of the times I tell him no, though, because he just ends up stealing. Unless you have the secure storage, then I think he will join you. Okay, it looks like the medical tents are ready to go. All right, let's beat the crap out of this guy. Ready? Go. New subscriber shout out. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I hate how that. There we go. New subscriber shout out. Okay, four out of seven. All right. One more fight, we should have it. Uh, Gamer Demetrius, Lily, Raiden, Roland, everybody, thank you for subbing. Appreciate that. Okay, we need to fight that guy again in order to get through. Sometimes it takes a couple of turns. And yeah, we need more concrete. Where are we gathering materials? Here? There and there. Yeah, we should be gathering concrete. You were going to buy this? Everybody says it's awful. Uh, I don't think so. It's, it's getting some improvements. It's, it's an incomplete game. Essentially, it's like you going into a kitchen and then, like, biting into literally a raw potato and being like, well, I was going to enjoy these mashed potatoes, but uh, they're unfinished. Yeah. That's kind of how it works sometimes. It's an actually a pretty good game. And I see some potential here, but we'll see. It's still TBD, I guess. Though I like the concept. Alright, Hakeem needs to go north again. Bandit camp, okay. I think we'll swing to the right. Is that a vending machine? What is that sitting there? Or is that a building? Oh, it's a town. Oh, I see. I thought it was just like a random giant vending machine sitting there. Oh, well, they've kind of added some new uh, things to the map. Cool. Yeah, thanks guys for clicking and tapping the like button. I see we're almost to 200 likes, so make sure you snipe it in before 200. Simus, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard. Looking at your well placing, they work correctly now? Uh, yeah, well, it won't let you put them on top of each other anymore. Well, it, it'll let you build close, but you can't build them next to each other. So if you need to, you can build them kind of close to get a little extra production if you need it. Which sometimes isn't a bad thing if you just need to get the food or the, the water going. 
All right, good. Now we can bring back 40 concrete, and that'll help that problem out. And hopefully our medical tents are ready, and then I really hope we get some more survivors. I need to get somewhere around 50 to really get the camp going. It's going to take a while, boys, but we're getting there. Welcome to all the new subs today. Thanks for all the super chats, and remember... If you guys want to support the channel and get access to Bobby Ross and all those wonderful emotes and be like Benny or Paradigma or Cal or anybody else watching, make sure you click or tap that join button. You can support for literally less than the price of a cup of coffee or even a small fry at McDonald's. And, of course, that'll help me to pay my attorney for when I get sued into oblivion for COPPA. So thank you very much for helping me out. Thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate it. We're just waiting now for the uh, nuclear fallout to pass, but it seems that Dan the Mystery ma Van Man has arrived. He wants us to pay with food. Well, we got plenty of that. It looks like he gave us one colonist and three carrots. Thank you. He's given us half-eaten carrots and a person. All right. Thank you, I guess. All right, a colonist joins us, I guess. We have ho housing for 18. Oh, specialist is ready to go. Oh, Hakeem it is. This guy's a great scout. Come on up there. Alright, some military hangers with 33 metal. Alright, we'll go back to that later. surprised to see that we're still at three concrete no matter what we build. Like, I'm wondering where the concrete is. Wow, look at all that metal they've gathered. Metal is no longer a problem. Good news. Yeah, man. Grab all that stuff. How do you start a heist? Uh, type exclamation point heist. If everybody in chat does it, tons of people can go on a giant heist and get more dino dollars. Oh, Cheryl's back again. Most Sometimes I see members on one stream but not the other, but Cher Cheryl's uh, tapping in for her second stream. I'm sure some of you else were here too. All right, the nuclear fallout has passed, and it looks like most of our irradiated people survived. I'm going to go ahead and shut down all but one of these medical centers now and start producing more materials. Especially the food. Subscriber shout out. Janik, thank you for subbing. I need more people. More workers, please. More Ovaltine, please. Thanks, Mom. Next, let's go down to one medic. Uh, plank deposit depleted. That seems fine. That's fine. All good. Alright, Hakeem is ready to scout. Ooh. A pharmacy with 37 medicine. That's huge. Excellent. Wow, look at all the people going on the heist. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, heist and then a number. I think it has to be separated, so exclamation point heist and then like 10 or 5 or however many dino dollars you want to risk. Probably 5. 5 to 10 is a good amount. Not too crazy. You don't want to, like, you know, quadruple down on Final Jeopardy, but, you know. All right. Our boy's ready to bring back the bricks. Just two more to go. Ooh, we got blowed up. All right, we'll come back to the map. Look at that. Beautiful Raptoria. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Oh, wait. How do you take a screenshot in Epic Game Store? Uh, it's not F12. Nah, whatever. Let's see. Oops, I accidentally deleted our berry gathering HUD. I clicked cancel. Oh, I accidentally clicked demolish. 
<clears throat> That's all right. We can move it somewhere else. Uh, let's move it to... Actually, wait a minute. Does general storage... Oh, that actually stores food. Okay, let's put that here. Next to the bunker. Oh, exclamation point means they're paused. Okay. I think it used to be a... Uh, I think it used to be a pause button. Oh good, we're starting to get concrete now. Awesome. Yeah, general storage is I think what we need for our... Is that store tools too? Yeah, tools and clothes can be distributed from there. Were you guys successful? Oh, half the crew got sent to Davy Jones' locker, but everybody else got stuff. Yay, good for you guys. Yeah, it's a fun little thing to do on the side. Aside from spamming the dipping, the new, uh, the special dip emote for, uh, anybody who becomes a member. Oh, this guy can only take four at a time? Oof. That's like nothing. We better send, uh, our other boy over here. Keep scouting. Uh, looks like Benjamin is infected, but he is in the hospital now. Food is doing okay. Still need more workers, though, to get that fully functioning. Mmm. Beanie with the dipping sauce. Sweet and sour. My hope is, if we get enough members, it would be awesome to make a dipping sauce for each different uh, type. Oh, yeah. Look at all that stuff dropped off. Awesome. Yeah, I'd love to get uh, sweet and sour, barbecue, honey mustard, creamy ranch. Is this turn-based? Uh, the overworld map of the specialist is turn-based when you're going out and gathering supplies, but otherwise it's a city builder. All right, we got to get this warehouse up right away. Looks like we got all the materials for it, finally. You know what would be kind of cool is if you could uh, choose building quality... Like, if a building was going to be planned to be built out of cinder blocks, but you had a lot of metal laying around, it'd be kind of cool if you could use alternative design. Will I get copyrighted for using those logos? No. Because they're modified, so that way they go into fair use. I make some small changes to them. Oh, wait, why is our specialist back? Oh, right. He's waiting for his move. Oh, also, when they're back, they can actually heal up. So when he gets to 100, he can actually roll out. Charlie is now an adult. Congratulations, Charlie. He's he's a big boy now. Uh, we do have a Raptoria emote. It should be down there. Yeah, I don't want to have this guy spending all day looking for medical stuff. Let's go over here. Oh, another one? Okay, well, clearly we got plenty of medicine on the map. Really want there to be a vehicle in the game. New subscriber shout out. The PVB Hunter, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard. And almost to 200 likes, so now's the time to snipe it in. Who's going to be number 200? How are we doing, my man? He's still at 68. When does he get healed? He can go to the infirmary. It's just idling. Oh, now he's ready. All right, I want you to go and get... Medicine's okay for now. Let's check south. Ah, beautiful tools. Man, it's taking a long time for these guys to build general storage. You think it's a brigadier general or an admiral? Admiral storage? What's the air... You have admiral for the navy. You have general for the army. Is there, like... Something for the Air Force? Is it like Chief of Staff or what? Like, is it just a general? Air Force general? They need a different name for that. They gotta call it like Air Force Viceroy or something cool. Oh wow, look at that thing. It's got a blinky light on it. Is that different? I, I think, is that model different? It's literally a storage container somebody backed into the side of a building. You know what it looks like? It looks like a small, it looks like a U-Haul self-storage that's like too big for the building. 
Hi, Chad. Billy Nelson here, and you're lucky oh. I'm here. Hi, Billy. Thanks for dropping by. Have I looked at Invasion 2037? I think so. I A lot of the times I write to the developers, and I'm like, hey, your game looks interesting. Like, can you tell me more about it? Can you give me a demo? Or like, What can you tell me about it? And then they'll just be like, here's a key. Enjoy. And it's like, uh, oh, okay. But sometimes I end up not playing them because, you know, they might not be that great. But that's rare. Okay, more metal stored. Alright, so it looks like a lot of metal and supplies in the north. Ah, a group of survivors are at the gate. Ah, good Zhang is here. Ooh, with very good scavenge. And pretty good exploration. Two is better than one, at least. Alright. Zhang is going up to pick up all that stuff. Three people are homeless. Alright, time for more homes. I'll build the better shelters when we research better ones. So let's build some tents here because we're limited on space. We'll grab those tools. Good. All right, a two-star rank major general is the highest rank the airman can achieve during peacetime. Two-star rank major general. Oh, huh. well, imagine that, kids. Oh, nobody's died yet, according to the game. All right, we do need to get food going now. And we got medical tents on backup just in case. Is anybody homeless? Nope. Seems like that tent was a good idea. Uh, yeah, Steam has a two-hour refund policy. If you play a game less than two hours, they typically will give you a refund if you explain that you just didn't like the game or if it didn't work or some sort of other issue. Have I played Universum? There are videos of that on the channel, yeah. Oh, they're still homeless. Maybe somebody had a baby. Um, build some more tents. Until I clear out this area, we gotta get the environmental cleanup on this thing. That's gonna be our, ne our next thing we do with research. Hakeem, I need you to find a, a museum or something, bro. Hopefully we can find a museum fast and get some more research points. Uh, go this way. keep going up that way. Right, we still need more concrete bricks. Yeah, we need energy production to power the environmental station, true. And I think that takes 12 power, doesn't it? Which is equal to one wind turbine. Yeah, we gotta get this area cleaned up. There's good building space over here for homes. And good farming up here, too. Luckily, that's a little easier to deal with. Okay, good. She's making vegetarian meals. Eventually, we'll switch that over to something else when we got trappers going, but we need workers. More people. Food is good. Clothes is clothes good. Tools good. Awesome. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Should be a research center so you can get science points. There are. There's research. Oh, you mean in the city? Yeah, it'd be cool if there was a way we could, uh, like, have a research center that generated like five research points every hour or something. Might be a little overpowered, but they could balance it somehow. By like making it have to be powered or something, that'd be a good balance. Uh, 
Ah, there we- whoa, whoa, 618 research points at the radar? Woo, boy. Akeem, come on over. That's literally like two big, or three big research things for us. Man. What's up, Bernard? How you doing? Build additional food storage. Is this full? This thing, this thing is at 2% capacity. Oh, it can't store raw food. That's the problem. I don't think it can store berries and things. Okay. So we still need generic food storage. That's kind of annoying. Norman, thanks for seven. A bandit is at the gate. Uh, let's see. Uh, ten cabbages. Is that seeds? Or medicine? Mm, let's go with medicine. I'm not sure if those were seeds, but that's fine. You didn't get a notification? Make sure you change your notifications to all. Everybody right now, click or tap that bell. Change it to all. If you don't, if you ignore it or whatnot, you're going to miss out on... That goes for all your favorite channels. If you don't click all, you miss out all the time. Because Google has made it clear that if you don't click all, then you leave them in control of what you watch. So click or tap the notification bell, change it to all. Only 10% people do it. Like 10 or 12% of my audience, that's it. Only 10% change it to all. So people are missing out all the time. Kind of annoying too, like if you subscribe to a channel, it's because you want to see their stuff. You shouldn't have to click four more buttons. <laughs> like, it's really annoying. But that's the way Google plays the game now. All right. Hakeem, it is time to book it over to that radar site, man. That is that is a big find. Hi there, Tom. And let's go to go to the shore. Sure, why not? He needs more movement points. Yeah, the bell. The reason the bell exists is to pull. the The whole scam was to make it so that way, if you subscribe to a channel, they don't really want you watching anything you subscribe to. What they want you to watch is what they think you should watch. So essentially, them putting that notification bell in there has made it so anything they recommend you gives them the ultimate control. So that's why, like, the first thing you see is home, the second thing you see is, like, recommendations, the third thing you see is, like, after a video, it's, like, recommendation, recommendations. So it takes away from what you've actually subscribed to see. And it's like watching ads all the time. Like, every recommended recommendation is an ad. Even my channel. I mean, like, people who found me through recommended videos, it's, it's all because they weren't subscribed and YouTube promoted me. So that's why it's all about pleasing the algorithm and keeping YouTube happy, otherwise... It's like the Mafia. It's like, that's a nice channel you have there. It'd be a shame if you were to accidentally say the F word or something. <laughs> then they'll take it all away. Yeah, it sucks. Like, I just want to play games and hang out and be lazy. Like, I'm watching the snow fall outside right now, and it's beautiful. I'm going to have steaks for dinner. Got some lovely people hanging out, except for Colt. And it's just nice. Really nice. Wow, Cher Cheryl, are you working from the inside? Are you, do you know Susan or something? Cher Cheryl knows what's up. You have a YouTube channel or something? You know the game. Hi there, Adam. How you doing? I'm just kidding, Cole. You know you're my favorite, but I can't let them know that. If I told chat you were my favorite, they would start spamming you with tacos at Cole Taco Emote. And you'd hate that. Let's see. Oh, right over there. You spy on Susan from the water cooler. <laughs> ah, good times. Ooh, more tools. Well, now they've given too many tools. Give me, uh... I could really use research points. More. Give me more research. 
beautiful though that this game rains from time to time. I really wish more games would implement like just just rain. It'd just be beautiful to see that. How do you get components? You have to find them. Components and fun boxes you find out in the world. Electronics aren't implemented yet, so those are really those don't exist. And parts you can actually make uh, by building them at I forget what it's called, like the mechanics bay, I think it's called, or something along those lines. All right. Can't you see I'm busy? I don't want to go get metal yet. We got plenty of that. Let's keep scouting south. Ooh. Wow, they've given so many research points now. That's great. Because there is a lot to unlock. And it can be a real drag finding those research points. Now we've found over like a thousand research points. We just need to collect it. Hell yeah. Woo! That gets me excited. Excellent. Oh, it looks like Colt is getting spammed with some tacos. That's totally unexpected. Oh, wow, this stockpile is just full of metal. I wish we could make parts and, like, export them. I wish there was ways to have supply lines in this game. So that way, whatever material or thing you were shortest on, you could make more of. Okay, I need to, uh... Who's working here? Let's get another guy on the logging camp so we can make more completed meals. Because most people are just eating potatoes and berries. Uh, where else do we have stuff? Ah, oh, there we go. When do I think the stream will end? Eh, whatever. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, here we go. Iodine tablets in there. I was, uh... Oh. Zhang is not very good at fighting. Yeah. This guy is, though. Brandon Lawson with the two. We can save earth plant trees. Go to tree teamtree.org. Or you can plant them yourself, too. You don't have to just give money. Everybody's... If you have some land or some property, plant a tree on your own land. Adds to the property value. It looks beautiful. And if you plant something like an apple tree or a pear tree, you can have fruit in your backyard. But I think it's teamtrees.org. But yeah, thank you, Brandon. I, I approve of that. I think planting trees and, and uh, gardening. Oh, gardening and things like that. All that stuff, very relaxing. Everybody needs kind of a calming, like a zen-filled hobby. Growing a plant is like super... Especially one that you can make food out of. Like if you make a rosemary plant or something that you can add spices. Super satisfying. What's this guy's research? Two? What's Hakeem? Five? Oh, well, can't be everywhere at once. It's not like Visa card. If you plant a fruit tree in your front yard, you can yell at people to get off your lawn. That's true, too. Okay, we're going to try a little bit more research. All right. Uh, let's see, food. Wait, did we unlock advanced farming? Oh, no. Production... We need energy production one, which is a hundred. And then we need hazmat, which is one fifty. So I need a bit more research before we start clearing the land. I want to do that. Also, I think we need to put the stuff somewhere now. Yeah, there's nuclear waste storage, so it doesn't just clean it magically. You now have to put it in a nuclear waste storage facility, and sometimes it can escape. So you need to be careful about that. So let's keep saving some points here. We're gonna go for environmental. Wow, it is snowing like crazy out there. That's beautiful. Outside my window. It's very romantic. You have a little lime tree in the back. Oh, that's nice. Best for alcohol and tacos. Yeah. Man. Oh, and uh, uh, pad thai. A little lime on some good pad thai. Ooh. Yeah, lime is really good, especially if you have some salsa, too. And if you add a little lime to your salsa, it just adds a little mellow zip at the end, and it's nice. Cheryl knows what's up. She has found the way of of the uh, taco, the Bobby Ross, and the uh, Raptoria. You have a blizzard coming through Nebraska? Well, I'm up in Minnesota, so maybe that's the uh, other side of it. 
I'm not leaving the house, though. It is Saturday. I'm not going anywhere. So it can snow all at once. Okay, let's move our production area. Hmm. All right, Hakeem. Oh, 250. Go, baby. Go. All right, a little, little explosion in the face. It's fine. A little, little explosion. Never hurt anybody. Pretty sure. Oh, we have another scout ready to go. Uh, let's go up here. You want some of that snow? Alright, where are we going next? Research. Okay, let's get... Oh, you know what? Actually, to build power, I'm going to need uh, components, too. So we better find some more of those. Those have been rare. So maybe we'll skip that for now, because I'm going to need components to build that. What else do we got? Food? Eh, that might be good, but... Bartering? No. Mm. All right, I'll hold on to it till we find some more components. Two is not going to cut it. I think we need a few more. And more parts, too. What do we need to make parts? Production. Junk recycling. So we need 150 for that. Okay, that actually would be worth something. Oh, it requires energy as well. All right. Oh, good. Well, we... Magnetic storm, lol. You guys know what we do when we see a magnetic storm. If we could get the crying laughing emoji in chat... This thing, uh, we, we're not producing any electricity, so this will do nothing to us. So if we could get some crying, laughing emojis, I'd appreciate that. And then maybe some tacos, too. Why not? Keep gobbling up that research, bro. Colonist Nora is injured. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really funny. This storm is going to come through and it's going to look so violent and scary. And then it's going to be like, oh, it didn't do anything. It'd be cool if the lightning only hit if, it was, if you had buildings. Otherwise, it should be like, oh, hey, we've noticed uh, you don't have any buildings. Like, GG. All right, food is starting to get low. We do need to maybe make another farm field. I think I'm going to build a bigger field, though. But it looks like the cookhouse is... Actually, uh, members, which, what, what, should, what should this cookhouse be? What, what fast food restaurant do you guys want? Emotes only from our members. Because we're going to have to build another one. Hakeem's gonna have to bail. It's a little too, a little too hot. Pizza, Domino's, Taco Bell, Wendy's. Uh oh. Oh, we're getting, we're getting a mix of them. Got the rest of that research, bro. Yeah. All right, good. Wow. We got all that research. Domino's. All right, I think it's going to be a Domino's. All right, so this is our Domino's cookhouse. Unfortunately, they're making veggie meals because I don't think we have much in terms of... I don't have enough people to start doing trapping and other stuff to make meat. Any big changes since the last time you were playing? Well, the, if the thumbnail is any indication of an update, there is now a giant construction equipment you can use to dig out unlimited amounts of material out of the earth. So the game now has some sustainability. Like some real big sustainability. Wow, we got a thousand research points. Now I just need to find components. And we got to send Hakeem back to the, uh, back to, uh, base. Well, let's <clears throat> start with the medium farm, at least. Production. Okay, I need that, at least. Then I got to get these trees out of the way. One big old potato field will do us. And we just need to work on trapping. 
There we go. The Colt L Memorial Potato Field is now under construction. He, we tragically lost him during a taco explosion. Yeah, did you know that Domino's, by the way? I recently ordered a pizza. And, uh... Like, I realized if you go to the... If you actually go to the store to pick it up, a pizza is like $9. Like, between 9 and $12. But if you have it delivered, it's like... Pretty close to like $25, $30 just for the delivery. It's like, wow. Imagine that. Okay. All right, Hakeem's got to head back. He's too wounded. Oh, man, there's so many bandits around. Grease fire kills 20. No, it's just Colt. He died in a tragic grease fire. Not that he was out cooking or something like that. We were actually doing the plague grease, and his dance moves were so epic. About that one, that one part, grease lightning, his, his pants caught a blaze, and we lost him. He was a good man. <laughs> he was a good man. It's always buy one, get one free here on pizzas? Wow. Yeah, pizza's a good food, man. It's a really... It's a really good thing. You always crave Domino's while you're having a little drinky drink? Yeah, I mean, you know. What are you gonna do? He went down fighting. Yeah, I've, I've never seen somebody dro stop, drop, and roll like that, but unfortunately, stopped too late, dropped too early, and rolled. Oh, ooh, ooh, what are those seeds? What is that seed? One medicine equals one seed. Is that, is that grain? Oh, oh damn. Unfortunately, I think that's late game, because it takes a long time to get the bakery up and running. I think that what what is that? Potato oh it's 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 peanuts. Eh. Oh well. Oh good, food is skyrocketed now. Good. We're good on food again. I just the only thing that's holding me up now, I just need more people into the camp. What's up, CF? How you doing? <clears throat> Do I think the game has potential for multiplayer? Um, yeah, but it would it would play out like a it would be a very long game, because it and it's all kind of RNG, so it could be hard to balance. Because if somebody got something somebody else didn't, it can make a whole world of change. Like if somebody finally discovers a huge research area, it could change the game entirely. I'm doing good there, Durson Gamer. We're having some pizza talk now in chat. Oh, you're right. Yeah, with the um, with the peanuts, we can make a PB and J because we do have berries, so we can make some jelly out of that. Oh, and then we just need grain seeds. Perfect. <clears throat> we'll be good to go. So we will have uh, peanuts for the peanut butter, berries for our jam, and then uh, we just need to get some grain seeds so we can make bread, and we'll be good. Perfect. Right, the only other thing we need to find now is like a Best Buy so we can steal some components. Are there zombies? Not at the moment, but there could be mutant armies or something in the future. Who knows? I should probably prepare some housing just in case we get some more guests. There we go. We'll build a couple of tents. This is a food chat. When do we not talk about food? Like, literally every ATS stream or Euro Truck is basically, guys, I'm so excited that Blank DLC is out, and I'm so excited. Hey, do you guys uh, do you guys like Arby's? And then we spend 45 minutes talking about Arby's. You flipped out at Domino's because you lived next door to them, and one time they asked... You had to pay a delivery fee for the next door when your leg was broke? Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, if I were the manager, I'd be just like, hey, make an exception. But then again, they have to explain that to corporate... Corporations have kind of ruined everything because everything has to be by the books and not 
not done out of the kindness of the heart anymore. And so, thus, it's made people a little bit more lazy. Like, there's videos out there of UPS people just sticking, sorry we missed you, stickers to doors because they have such a tight delivery window that if they get over... If they get overburdened with packages, then they start sticking stickers to doors so they can stick stay to a schedule. But then, rather than the management being like, we should change our system so we're better, it's, uh, oh no, let's fire the workers and hire another one who's, you know, it's kind of like last man standing kind of thing. Shane, thank you very much for subscribing. You just keep firing until somebody is, like, locked in who will do the work and not complain. Florian, thanks for subbing. Alright, let's go south. Management is never wrong? Yeah. Well, if management is never wrong, you'll end up with companies like uh, GameStop and EA and Comcast. You know what I'd like to do? If I had if I had that e Elon Musk money, I'd love to buy all three of those companies and be like, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce the shutdown of three major corporations. I'd be, I'd be elected like president of the world. It would be over. Guys, today we're shutting down Fortnite, Comcast, EA, <laughs> and also Ticketmaster. Oh, I'd, I, it would be like MacArthur returning to the Philippines. There'd be parades in my honor in every city. Now, obviously all those people would have to get jobs, but new jobs, but I don't know. I'd, I would argue that they're probably not that great to begin with. What do you mean, plan to have the children educated? We have a damn school right here. Uh, water source next to pollution, is that of any... Uh, pollution doesn't seem to affect the, the city at all. Let's see. Okay, so these three are good to go. We will be soon. Yeah, if you if you put water next to like a lake, it doesn't affect it. The what you need to worry about is how dark green the, the land is. It's about soil fertility. And fertile soil means more water. Alright, let's go east. And you go north. Okay. What the hell? Crumbling houses. What? You can bring back cockroaches for a supply? That's awesome. That's new. Beautiful. So we just need the electrical storm to go away. It will do no no harm to our city at all. Hide your job subscription from chat. Well, everybody's got to work. But uh, I think some companies have... Uh, well, co companies that are disdained by people have management that is purely evil. Oh, there's components there, but I'm not, I'm not going in there. That's, that's hell. Oh, that, that's too risky to go in there. That's death. Yeah, the bugs are my meat source, yeah. Well, luckily we have plenty of food. Just v vegetarian. I'd rather set up traps than bring all that stuff back. Plus, you have to set the cookhouse up to cook bugs. And that's just too much of a pain to build another one. Well, yeah, the problem is is that there's no reward for loyalty anymore, and nobody's loyal anymore. Because everybody's just trying to do what they think is best for them, which is totally fine. That's amongst everybody's rights. But uh, other parts of the world are, what what can I do for the group? And uh, some parts of the world are, what about me? Like, there's, there, there's different ways that things work out, and that's just a different way of thinking, I guess. There we go. Yeah, there's no weapons in the game yet, but I would love to see the ability to um, upgrade your scavengers. It would be really, really cool if the specialist, I mean, uh, could be equipped with weaponry and 
and become more skilled if you were to train them somehow. Yeah, EA is a good example of putting profit before people and then speaking for those people and being like, No, they love this stuff. They love microtransactions. They're called, uh, what did EA call them? Uh, statistically probable fun boxes or whatever they came up with. Your subscriber shout-out didn't go through. Well, Decada, thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Are there churches? Uh, I believe there's a Popeye's. And there's a KFC, but I don't think there's a churches around here somewhere. Surprise mechanics, yeah. Yeah, that's that's horrible. We know what's best. Hi, we're EA. We know what's best for you. Oh, what's what's best for what's best for us? Our bottom line is best for you. Like, okay. Alright then. Yeah, Bethesda. Yeah, Bethesda must have had, like, some people hired internally who are working for EA. Like, they don't know how to do things differently. It's like, alright guys, big meeting. We're gonna come out with Fallout 76. What do you guys think we should do? We're really excited to make a quality game that's gonna last a long time and build the loyalty of our audience, as our previous titles have, and really improve upon the world we've created. Uh, Jeff is joining us today from EA. Let's welcome Jeff. He's transferring. Yep. Welcome aboard, Jeff. Good to have you here. Jeff, what do you think we should do? Hey, let's go ahead and make crap, but then charge a lot of money. Hey, Jeff, that's not really what we do here. Um, we could probably make some additional bosses and, and maybe make it more like a different game, like uh, Sekiro or something like that. No, let's just let's charge money, but for basic stuff. It's a good idea. Oh, good. We got 20 meat from that. A couple of people infected, but that's fine. I need more people in the city. It's the only thing that's holding us up now. I need people, uh... I need people to move into the city so we can get on to second phases here. Uh, why am I playing more than one hour? Um, oh, am I... Am I not allowed to? I didn't know. Plus, I won't be streaming on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll be out of town. Maybe on Thursday I'll stream again, if I get home in time. Subscriber shout out. VR Farmer, thanks for subbing. Ooh, this is risky. Let's go for it, though. Good, we made it. And now, wow, look at that, a thousand research points. That's ridiculous. I need more components, though. We gotta find components. So I can start making uh, power. Yeah, unfortunately, Fallout's just become like a frustrating... We really got... New subscriber as shout gamers out. and as, as, as a consumer base, we need to identify predatory traps and scams... And just tell and just say no. You know that famous poster of the Soviet guy who's being offered like a drink and he's just got his hand out and he's just like saying no to alcohol for that evening? Like that's what we need to do too, is be like, you know what? Games like American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, City Skylines, Transport Fever, uh, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, they all embrace their communities by saying, Hey, we made this game. And we'd like you, the community, to make add-ons to it, or workshop items, or mods, or, hey, do whatever you want. And so people have included things like, uh, you know, John Deere tractors on trailers, and crazy roller coasters, and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, everything, you know, EA and some other companies do, everything's behind a paywall and locked. And a lot of it is no-can-do's, like with SimCity. It's like, hey, could you make the cities bigger? Oh, nothing we could do. There's no possible way we could... Meanwhile, City Skylines comes along. And EA's reaction is uh, two options. We could invest more money in our current... Well, three options. Invest more money in our current game and make it way better. B, we can make a whole new SimCity to compete with City Skylines. Or C, we could just fire everybody 
uh, take it as a tax loss and make more money and basically recuperate our loss and uh, put a bunch of people out on the street. All right, let's go ahead and put them out on the street. Great idea, Craig. Let's get you a $4 million bonus. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm like, what? So frustrating. Just, just do the right thing. Just do the right thing. And the right thing is whatever makes a good amount of money. It's like that one Simpsons uh, episode where Marge becomes a real estate agent. And uh, Lionel Hutz or whatever is also in real estate. And he says to her, Marge, there's, there's two different truths. There's the truth. And then there's the truth. <laughs> there's the truth. And then the truth. Essentially saying, make sure you only tell, you know... A, have a positive bias of certain things. I suppose in a way I'm positively biased too. I don't have much negative things to say about most games, but I also realize most games aren't finished either. I mean, in 2019, when Planet Coaster first came out, it was a good game, and it's become an amazing game over the years because they just added more and more uh, updates to it. Games typically get better. Like, if you look at Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley is a crazy cool game, and when that game started, it had like one map and no multiplayer and anything like that. Now it's like a multiplayer game, and it's on like every console, and there's been a ton of free updates, and the developer never once made any sort of DLC, he just charged the same price. One man, by the way, made that game, and charged a price for it, and made a ton of great money for it. Oh, cabbage seeds, I'll take that. Although cabbage sucks, but whatever. I want to get the soybeans. Alright, let's head back to, uh... Going scouting down here. The houses look strange. Well, a lot of this stuff is just rubble. And another bandit camp. Oh, look, bandit island. How cute. Oh, right, you're right. Without cabbage, we won't be able to have sauerkraut. Good point. Eh, eventually, I'll have to make another farm field. I don't have any more workers, though. I need more workers. We got a couple of kids in, kids in school, but... The game seems to have chilled out with, like, the amount of people they would bring to your camp. Before, it would be, like, 11, 12, 18, 20. Now, it's, like, 2 and 3. It's, like, I need at least 10. All right, let's, let's roll them dice one more again. Subscriber shout out. Phase, thanks for subbing. You like Donna Man? Yeah, that's updating too. That's the trouble with games though. You can only really play one at a time. There's not enough time in the in the day to play all games all the time. Although I did see that there's an update out now for No Man's Sky where you can customize your own ship. And also uh, Elite Dangerous is getting some new stuff too. There's just too much stuff out there, too much good stuff. There does seem to be a limit on how many times a developer can screw consumers before reputation catches up. Well, not necessarily, because then you can be like EA and just buy the good companies and then do that thing where we're we're proud we're excited. We're proud we're proud to announce. We're excited to announce like any of that talk, you know that's just corporate scam. We're excited. <laughs> no, you gotta say cool. Like, that's how you know somebody's telling the truth. When I say, like, hey, you guys should become members, I say, hey, we got these cool emotes, or hey, we got a cool new emote. I don't say, here at this channel, we're excited to unveil a new Coca-Cola brought to you by Sprint emote. Michael, thanks for seven. Thank you very much. What if EA buys Activision? Well, that's like if you cross the beams in Ghostbusters. It'll just be the end of the world then at that point. The, uh, like the... Earth's gravity will disappear, volcanoes will erupt. Blood will flow from the, the lakes and rivers. Paradox is reputable. Well, that's true. They do but they do a lot of DLC a lot of DLCs and things like that, or leave things out on purpose to bring it into DLC later. There's still frustration. Companies still need to make money, and games are not cheap to make either but when done right fans will loyally and aggressively support forever like minecraft but minecraft is just the case of a right game at the right time I wonder what would happen if Xbox and PlayStation merged. Ah, uh, they couldn't. I don't think the fans would want that. 
In fact, uh, having differences, like differences of opinion or whatnot, makes a great market and a better, better things for everybody. Yeah, we're trying to get rid of the nuclear waste. I need to get electricity going first, and I need more components. So we're searching the main map for components before we do that. And I also need more people here, so I'm wait and now I'm at the game, the mercy of the game. Like I need people to magically show up, just through RNG, and I need uh, the scouts to go and discover stuff too. Otherwise, I'm kind of like, all I'm all I'm doing right now is just sitting here making a ton of food. I should make some more. We're gonna have a heat wave soon. Let me make some more uh, wells, I guess. Looks like there's some lumber down there. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you. Okay, this is not as risky. Let's send down... Uh, we'll send... Uh, oh, he's got to go back to base, though, to get healed. Alright, we finally found some components. That's good. And some fun boxes up here. That's good, too. All right. I think we'll go over there for some components. Yeah, the nice thing about PCs is though they're very expensive, they're very unlimited to what they can do. PC is where you get all the mods. You know, there's the online, the internet community that's not controlled by Xbox or PlayStation. So if you want to do a mod, you don't have to uh, go through PlayStation or Xbox to get it. Wow, our stockpiles are getting full. Still need some more bricks and concrete. Concrete and uh, wood. Oh, up here. That's eh, too far away. Let's start closer. There we go. Uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2 gets uh, suppressed too often. If I play that more, I have to do an angle on it, like do Star Wars or something all the time. But, uh, Men of War's just got to be a special thing from, from time to time now, because Men of War has certain, uh, tags to it that trigger YouTube's algorithm in uh, promoting it. Like the word you war in Men of War. Aaron Young, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, Satisfactory is a good game. All right, everybody's got something of value. Quebecois? Hey, what's up? Well, there's some great PlayStation games. I love Gran Turismo. That's a fun one. I, I was a big fan of that for a long time. Cigar, hi. How are you doing? You're a big fan from India? Got a lot of fans from India. Hi, India. Got a lot of fans from Poland, too. The Netherlands. I gotta, like, do a world tour. I'd probably only be able to, like meet two or three people who are actual fans in each country, but it's still cool to have friends all over the world who are supporters. What's up, Sam Core? Cheryl, I use controllers on PC. It helps with your disabilities. Yeah, actually, P P like playing a uh, PC game on a controller is way, way better. Like, if you're doing a racing game, sometimes racing games are the best on a controller, better than a keyboard, because you can get that real sensitive turn in. And sometimes the whole steering wheel is a little too... Uh, a little too like uh, too much. If you're playing ATS or something, I'd recommend a full, full simulation rig. But if you're gonna just play a racing game or whatnot, play it with a controller. 
And games like Ratchet and Clank and uh, Death Stranding and other things like that are just better with a controller or on a console. Controllers are good for flying too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, anything where you need like subtle movements, like a, f a plane or an FPS. Some t well, no, I prefer FPSs on PC. All right, we need somebody to stop at the gate. How do we get more people? Do I need more housing? I mean, I built more houses. Doesn't show me how many housing I have, though. Well, each emergency tent is six, so that's six, 12, 18, and then each tent is what, two? Are these all full? Oh, they are. Maybe I should build more houses. Would that bring in more people? I think the game just brings them randomly. Oh, nice. Akeem is sneaking out with some good components. Uh, I think we'll just head south back to base now. Yeah, a lot of South Africans too, like Milan. Hi there. Uh, okay, everybody's moved. All right, I'm gonna build some more housing. I don't know if that's gonna trigger more people to come, but maybe, maybe we should do it. Let's build some ooses up here. Build two temporary houses there. All right. Let's have you go pick up some more components. You thought it was random too, since it would send in refugees at times there was max housing? Yeah, I'm going to try to build more houses. I don't know if it's dependent on that. Does it say? Colonists are divided into carriers, workers, and children. Tells you total population, but not total housing. Well, that'd be nice. Good update would be to see how many spaces you actually have for housing. That'd be helpful. Alright, we'll go and build some new houses. I've been needing that for a while. Although, we've gotten a lot of food stored up. So that's been good. And then we can unlock the rest of our research. Wow, we got 1,300 research points. Big. I think if you build single houses, you get more kids from your... I don't know if that has any change to it. All this are less likely to reproduce... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. They'll have more kids if they have bigger, more personal homes. That makes sense, yeah. Right now, I need more than just kids. I need, like, ready-to-work adults. Like, I need, I need insta-worker, not, like, when you have to raise yourself. Okay, water wells are getting done, so we got extra water. Oh, Edgarth is back. I think you should build single houses. You should get more kids from your current population. I think you're right. The higher quality of the home, the more likely they are to uh, to get down and dirty with it. Like in uh, uh, Banished and uh, Life is Futile. Those two games. Alright, Hakeem is going to have to head back to base. He's too damaged now. Too risky, I think. Let's go. Let's go south and get some more of those components. There's quite a bit of components down there still. And lumber. Oh yeah, let's bring that down. Anyone want to anyone know what to do with a sore throat kind of getting sick with something? Well, you can always take a cough medicine just to kind of soothe it. But tea is good, tea and honey, and sometimes I hear yogurt is good. Just anything to calm your throat down a little bit, because part of it is your throat just getting irritated from the, the whole happening. Yeah, this is a little too risky to go down, so let's go up north, deliver those tools. We gotta go back home, which is uh, right of there. Yeah, some of them don't provide radiation protection, you're right. Uh, Adam the Irish Farmer, Massey Ferguson, thanks for subscribing. Uh, some of the homes provide better radiation protection, true. We do have to research some of those. And I believe some of them might take power, but also a lot of materials, too. So before we build those homes, we better focus on unlocking our unlimited resource generation, so that way we can uh, 
build more stuff. New subscriber shout out. Gudin, thanks for seven. All right, well, hopefully now that we have more homes, maybe it'll trigger workers to come in. I still dislike how the gate storage can be full. The gate has its own storage, but you can't move it between the gate or the civilians. It'll just stay there until they need to use it. Oh, homes never require power? Good. And we can save it for our industries. Yeah. Alright, let's head back, Hakeem. Or should we get rid greedy? Nah, we better come back. Oh, Zhang has 20... No, that's not right. 15, yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good to go. Come on back. Uh, fish feast. Alright, now we have extra storage or room for our residents. Hopefully that triggers more people to come through. So as soon as we get components, we can start with our electricity and our cleaning up of the nuclear waste and build more houses here. And then I can also start making parts and, uh, wow, look at all the tools we have. Yeah. I think we should keep making tools for a while, actually. I hope some people come through soon. You love my videos? Thanks. That's nice of you. Uh, let's see. Alright, Hakeem, we want you to come back up here. Alright, everyone's getting close to base. Now hopefully we get some people to drop by. Alright. We dropped off parts a while ago. Everything else is metal. I think we need more parts for our electrical uh, outlets and stuff. Uh, let's go west. Cool. This is your first time catching me live. Well, thanks for being here. If you guys are liking the show, remember to click or tap that like button too. Sneak it in before 300 likes. Don't let someone beat you to it. And who's going to be number 300? Well, I don't know. Of course, uh, if you guys want to subscribe to, your name will pop up on the screen. And we'll welcome you aboard. Appreciate everyone being here and hanging out. Leaving a like and showing some love. Appreciate it. It's nice that we got some people to hang out with tonight. All right, tents are completed. Well, at least we got the base game started here pretty good. We got a good amount of food and shelter and then we can start upgrading once we've got electrical power going then we'll have an endless source of resources coming from the ground and then once we've done with that we can start building all the nice houses but 
But I need more people before we can do that. I, I got all these jobs I want to do, but I can't can't build any of that yet. Tyler, welcome aboard. Thank you for subbing. New subscriber shout out. And Will. Do 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 do. Oh, specialist ready to go. All right. Driver shout out. Torin, thanks for summon. I think Hakeem is two turns away. Fun boxes are here now. We can build a library or something. Let's go uh, northwest. Hmm. Wonderful tacos in chat. Bum, bum. Yeah. Sure. Alright, we almost got the components back. I wonder if I can make machine parts right away. Maybe not, because we need parts to make the uh, to make the power supply and then to make the actual machine. If you could grow tacos, that's a good plan. Well, to be fair, we could plant corn, so the tortilla is checkmarked. We could probably grow tomatoes, which are on berry bushes, maybe. And lettuce we can get with cabbage, close enough, I suppose, texture-wise. And then beef we could just get from, like, some raccoons or something. Probably wouldn't be the greatest taco in the world, but it certainly would be better than nothing. Yeah, hopefully they add tacos to the... Actually, I want to see a taco being the next banner. All right, let's see. No, we're good. The cheese? I don't think we can get any cheese. It would be these streams. They'd have to get the cheese from these streams. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Specialist ready to go. All right, Hakeem, come on back. One more turn. Yes. Next turn, we get those components. Well, I'm going to start unlocking some things I know we're going to do. Let's go for energy production. Junk recycling. And then hazmat. Ooh. Bago super chat. Wow, $20 from... Laurel, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I don't know why it doesn't pop up on the screen, but I do see it here. Thank you, Laurel, for the $20. Very nice of you. And thanks for all the other super chats and everything today, guys. Very nice of you all. Thank you. Energy storage, reinforced gate. All right, we'll uh, research some more stuff later. Boring method might be important, though, because that'll get us water. Oh, yeah, things are unlocking really nice now. Could we trade cheese for medical kits? That's a good question. Yeah. All right, let's see how much it takes to buy... Build a power station. Damn, that takes eight parts. So how much to build the medical... Or the uh, mechanic shop? Oh, that takes... Oh, we can do it. Excellent. Let's start building our... Wind turbine. Or, or turbine. Let's put that over here. And then our mechanics bay... can make parts, and then that'll allow us to build more buildings. Dan, thanks for clicking a tab on that subscribe button. Thank you. And then we can get the environmental station up and finally start moving our buildings out of here. We're in such a cramped space. We're surrounded by this darn pollution. Let's build some more roads.
Uh, so much nuclear waste, I can't connect it all. Oh well. Happy Raptor, happy holiday. Uh, well, thank you. Alright, finally. Got those components. Yeah, 24 components. Beautiful. Sweet. Good. Now we can make a power source and our mechanics bay. Hopefully that works. If not, I'll have to just build what I can. Do I like streaming for more than an hour? Well, these types of games, you can't just stream for like 20 minutes to an hour. Streaming requires a couple of hours, and building games require more than like 15 minutes. Like, nobody... Rome wasn't built in a day, and Raptoria certainly wasn't built in a weekend. Oh, damn it. Uh, Canron Thorn, thank you very much for subscribing. Alright, we gotta wait till that electrical storm passes by, otherwise these buildings will get damaged. Alright, so as soon as the me uh, the ma uh, what is it? The new subscriber oh, magnetic out. storm. When the magnetic storm passes, then we'll be okay. And Dr. Wright, thank you for subbing. Oh, someone's at the gate. Ah, what's up, girl? Oh, holy crap. Three jackets for 253 research? Hell yeah, I will, uh, I'll go for the research first, because I feel like we could find pills anytime. Actually, we do know there's some pills out there, but research is, like, more important. Is this similar to Banished? Yeah, there's a lot of elements that are the same. Uh, chill. Thank you for seven. Alright, let's go for... I wonder if you can go down one path now. Before it required you to go down both. I hope it just goes one. Prestigio Gamer. Welcome. Alright, let's try to do some basic research on all of these. We'll do bartering last, probably. Okay, so that's 600. Energy storage, energy production to battery stacking. Oh yeah, industrial mining. <gasps> we should just go down that line right now. Let's just do that. Yeah. Good, now we got our production of unlimited materials. Hell yeah. Now we just need more people to work that stuff. And more research points to do it. What about uh, houses? Comfortable housing is 300, so we'll go down that way next. Now we just gotta wait for the electrical storm. It's a McNugget- It's a McNugget storm, YouTuber? Why? What would we do with all of these McNuggets that we would have? Those are awfully a dry breaded treat, only available at participating McDonald's. Why? Hope we have some sort of way to add extra flavor to those. If only there was some sort of like a container in which we could dunk them into to add to their glory. Almost like a baptism of flavor. Hmm. Yeah, that was beautiful right there. I wonder if we have any sort of emote that conveys that. Something not too sweet, but not too, you know, bitter. Or sour, as some would say. Hmm. Hey, at least the nuggets are guaranteed to survive. That's true. Oh, dude, we're finding a lot of medicine here, too. We got antibiotics in multiple places. We've got iodine pills up here. Okay. Good thing we traded for research. Kashan, thanks for seven. What is this green emote that says sweet and sour on it? What is this? That our members have access to by clicking and tapping the join button. Hmm. Seems to be some sort of a sweet and sour... What I would assume to be some sort of dipping sauce. Interesting. Uh, do you get in trouble when using companies' names on YouTube when not when not advised to? No, <clears throat> because they're uh, they're modified to be a little different. So it's like a parody or a uh, what'd you call it? Uh, fair use. I do some sort of commentary on it, so it changes it slightly. Plus, it's free advertising at available McDonald's. I mean, fast food isn't the worst thing either. Even if you cook at home and you make fried chicken, it's certainly not... I mean, it's much it's, it's much more quality ingredients, but... Uh, it's 
still like fried chicken, right? All right, we are at... All right, first of all, we're waiting for the magnetic storm to pass so we can keep up our construction. And then I got to start making mechanical parts from our metal and scrap that we have. How do you see how much scrap you have? Statistics. Resources. Junk, 134. Well, if we get some more members, we can unlock a barbecue emote. So again, that's a great incentive to support the channel. If you've been a member for a, or a viewer for a long time, it's now time to become a member and take that extra step. We gotta battle Copa, Copo somehow. All right, where are we going next? Southeast. I wanna go, I think we'll go east. All the sauces, that's why you order 40 nuggets. Didn't McDonald's used to have like a 50? There was like a 50 nugget thing you could do. It was like a special thing where it was like, oh yeah, share with family. Like if I had If I got 40 nuggets, I'm not I'm not I'm not sharing those. What is this? Oh, an airport. A strange looking airport. Components there though. Now we're starting to find some big components. Good. I don't think we need that many though. Well, actually we will, yes. Because with the components, we can make more. That's the only thing we can't make ourselves. We'll have to make some more. Did you hear about the Nugget Hero at McDonald's? No. I've heard about... They got a lot of crime at McDonald's, though. And they have a whole government sector, too. Uh, Mayor McCheese and the Hamburglar. There used to be a dude who would arrest the Hamburglar, too. Man, I miss those days. What happened to those? Now it's all just ba da ba 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 I don't really see much... McDonald's really doesn't advertise as much anymore. Do they really need to? There's a McDonald's like every corner. And you know you know what you get with McDonald's, right? Like nobody's going there to, you know, eat great. You're going there because it's like you're on a road trip and you're just hungry. Or you're, you had a little drinky drink and you just need a quarter pounder. Yeah, Mara McCheese. Maybe we should make that a new emote. <laughs> It'll be me but dressed as Mayor McCheese. Who came up with these things? I don't think... How does that even sell? Oh, finally, we have new survivors with four people. Oh, my God. That's literally nothing. Oh, it brings Wheeler, though. Oh, this man can really scavenge. Hell, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that brings a few more workers for us. That's good. Um, but we'll probably end up having them work in the mechanic shop. Wow, look at all the food we have. No joke, we're doing fine. Yeah, I went to this place in Japan where they make a giant... Like, the world's biggest thing of ramen or something. Or I can't remember what it is. It wasn't ramen, but... It was just basically this big cast iron bowl where they... Put a bunch of stuff under it and then they serve it. It's outside of some cave in, like... Oh, I forget where it was. Ka uh... Ka Ka uh... Ka I can't remember. Somewhere in the north. Uh, the north central section. Uh, there we go. All right, keep on going west, east, east and west. Cave dining up my alley. It was actually really, literally cool in the cave. Like it goes from like ninety degrees outside down to fifty in the cave. I was with friends who were like. Trying to get a jacket out and stuff, and it's like, oh, this is uh, this is my natural habitat. Fifty degree weather, it's all it's all about me. Ah, perfect. We can get twenty seven components here with no problem. Good. Let's keep on grabbing those. Simon, thanks for seven. Okay, I'm gonna keep on grabbing these and bring back more components. So that'll bring us up twenty. What is that? Twenty seven. Yeah, nineteen plus eight. And I think there was some at the airport, but that's a little risky. I'll try to nap some on the way out. All right, we need our Lulzworthy uh, magnetic storm to blow through again. And we need more survivors, though. Still not enough. Stumbled across this guy randomly. Now I'm hooked. Good. Glad to have you here as a viewer. 
Always encourage people to subscribe, hang out in the channel. Hey, always subscribe now and unsubscribe later. Like, some people are like... Some people leave a like and subscribe to channels, I've noticed, like, as if they're buying a car. I'll tell a friend, like, oh, dude, this guy's really funny. Here, subscribe to his channel. And someone's like, yeah, I'm still thinking about it. Like, what? You're not buying a house? Just subscribe. Watch a couple videos if he sucks. Unsubscribe, whatever. And knowing YouTube, they'll probably unsubscribe you automatically. So, <laughs> what's the point? Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, let's bring Wheeler to the east. Ooh, actually, we might be able to nab some from this plane. Oh, that's that's too di that's risky. Let's go to the airport instead. Well, the plane almost made it. It was pretty close. I think it plowed in the mountain and it, <laughs> it fell down. Cause that's how it goes. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Oh, Rob, how you doing? Cal, good to see you. All of our wonderful members in there. Wow, look at this. We're up to four scavengers now. This is great. We're getting close to 600,000? Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, hey, Raptor, watched your Farmer Dynasty videos. Why did you stop playing that all of a sudden? Uh, there should be a new video on the channel. Sometimes if I stop playing something, it's just because something new came out and I just don't have the time for something old. I try to play as much as I can. Sometimes I get in trouble of, like, playing a game as much as I can and then don't do other things. Alright, now we can build those big, big excavators, too. So now we can build the big metal extractors and all this stuff. It's just going to require a lot of components. So we'll probably go with the metal compactor first. Strange noises coming from the gate. You see a person wrapped in layers of cloth, rubber, and mud standing at the gate. There's a slight twitch in their goggles as you approach. I need things? Trade me? This I know is unique. Uh, pristine looking computer protected by plates of lead. Except the computer. <laughs> Negative one clothing for 176 research. Well, I think we kind of have to do that. Here's a shirt. Good, we gave him some merch. Cool, we got some free research. Awesome. I threw him a, a dino... I threw him a, a t-shirt from our Teespring store. Which has conveniently popped up in the chat. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, I needed that computer so I could keep streaming during the apocalypse. I'd probably get more viewers in the apocalypse than I would now. Alright, let's see. Uh, Hakeem, go east. Oh, there's some more pills. Granddad's pills. Taylor Wrigley, thanks for subbing. Ah, more research, good. And keep grabbing them components, bro. Yeah. Get three left, and then we'll go to the airport. When did they update the game? It was a few weeks ago, about the middle of middle of November, like the 11th to the 15th, somewhere around there. Oh, good, we got all the kids in school. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Will I ever play Dishonored 2? Uh, most of... The, I've been doing YouTube long enough where... Yeah, you know, I'm trying to grow a channel to get to a million subs because it's like a... It's a really big personal goal, I think, for every YouTuber to have like a million subs or whatever. So I'm trying to play games that will specifically grow the channel and you got to play what's new and relative or relevant to your audience. And so after doing this for a long time... It's my expertise now to know whether or not people are going to like something. So I can tell you if I start playing like uh, Hearthstone and Barney's Island Adventure and like start cooking streams, nobody's going to care. They're here for a mediocre at best YouTuber to play some pretty decent games and that's about as far as it goes. And there's some people who are really supportive of that and want to cheer me on, which is pretty cool. But we got some really good audience members. 
who also check the channel to see if there's something they're interested in buying. Which surprised me. I took a poll on the channel once and I was like, hey, do you you guys ever come to the channel because you like you you buy games because of the channel? And a lot of people were like, oh yeah. Like people will find out about a game. That's pretty cool. There we go. Raptor, are you still in contact with some of the old Men of War friends? Uh, some, yeah. You know how it is. Some people move on, have kids, go to school, start work. Wow, it is really snowing out there. Holy crap. It's actually starting to stick to the light post out there and, and make it look like a like a white pillar. I can't even see this, the light post anymore. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, Freeator Gamer says, Is this game free? Also, hi, Raptor. Well, thanks for the two. The game is actually available on the Epic Game Store, and it's not free, but it's on discount for... Um, it's on discount for that. Uh, Landon, I answered your question. You just weren't paying attention. I, like, directly went on a... 10-minute... Oh, man. That's what... <sighs> okay. All right. I'm not going to say anything. You bought this game because of my series and streams? Good. Yeah, if you're better at me than a game, that's totally cool. Go pl go play it. Be better. Most people are. Uh, don't underestimate that. I'm sure lots of us use your stream to find new games. I do. Says Paradigma. Thanks, Para. Um, yeah, I'm assuming a lot of people find out games through the channel or through the live streams, which is great. And a lot of people are way better than me at games, so go. If you see me play a game and you're like, oh, that looks pretty good, but it looks tough. Oh, I'm just I'm just playing a game as fast as I can to get on to the next one. Green or red? Well now hold on a second. We don't want to get we don't want to get demonetized for spam. <laughs> Whoa, careful there, buddy. After your library is because of me? Well that's a good feeling. I think there's a lot of great games out there. Too many great games, actually, and it's a shame that they all kind of come out at the same time. Liam, thank you for subbing. Like, I had to go play Death Stranding and Fall uh, Star Wars at the same time. Those were great games. I just wish I had more time to, like, 100% them and stuff. But after you beat the main story, everybody and myself gets, like, disinterested. Oh, the electric storm's over. Let's turn these on again. And we'll bring back more components, too. All right, sneak into that airport. Ah, oh, darn, some damage. Oh, eh, not too bad. We're gonna come back with a bunch of uh, bunch of supplies. Yeah, it's the Dino Diner. <laughs> okay, let's head. Uh, uh, let's go north of the lake. Kind of cool to see that you can discover new stuff like bugs and whatnot. Alright, sneak in. No whammy, no whammy. Yeah, yeah. 43, 20, okay. Will I do VR at all? I did a little bit of VR for Ace Combat. I really want there to be more DLC for that game for the uh, VR. It was a really cool game. I like VR, but... You know, there's a guy out there named, like, Nathy VR, and he's really cool, and he does nothing but cover, like, VR games, and I think that's really neat. Um, but it's something I don't know if my audience... I'd, I'd have to invest into VR equipment, and then if I did a video and nobody watched it, I'd feel kind of silly that nobody cared. Not that, you know, anybody did anything wrong, but... Whenever you get into something new, you never know what people are going to think. All right, so now we're making uh, mechanical parts. That's great. And now we can bring bring back components. Thanks, Brian. My voice is butter. Well, thank you. Half-Life is out in January. Uh, people like Rad Brad, MK Ice and Fire, and everyone else will get early, super mega early act. There's going to be people who get super mega early access to that and they're gonna get all the attention for that so I don't know 
making YouTube videos is more of a chess move than, than I ever imagined. Every time you make a video, it's got to be like a chess move. Good. All right, now we can bring back 30 plus 43 components. Wow. So these two guys are going to book it back to camp. Awesome. To be honest, though, I'm most satisfied with games like uh, Transport Fever 2. I'm so thrilled to have been playing that game lately because you can just build a beautiful infrastructure and the fact that I'm playing it in sandbox mode means that we just don't have to worry about money and we just just build something that's peaceful and, and gorgeous looking, like me. Uh, you might get a new set of audience with the VR in mind. That's true. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, it could, it could be good or bad. You're playing Terraria and watching the stream. So far, a good night. Good. Terraria is a good game as well. Yeah. Alright, boys. Time to head back to camp. Right. Well, we're about to see some of the stuff added in the update shortly. So stay tuned. Okay. What do you want? We're close to building it. We just need to bring back components. What do I like more, cats or dogs? Uh, bratwursts. Yeah. Dogs are good, but bratwursts are a little more flavorful. Wait a minute, that man had one more move point. Roger. Let's see, we're generating 12 power. Oh, this must make 14 then. Okay. What's the lowest thing that we have? Wood, we'll have to make a forester for that. We'll probably do our logging maybe over here. Or actually, over here would be perfect. All right, we'll, we'll do a logging camp over there. Have I played Knights of Honor? I've never heard of that game. Wow, two stockpiles are full. Bandits approach the gate. Oh no, slave trade again. One colonist for three medicine. Uh Okay. New subscriber shout out. We do have plenty of medicine in the northwest. Eatmaster, thanks for subscribing. Am I hoping for a new Sim City 2020? Oh, that's never happening. That's that studio was shut down. EA has killed that to death. Oh wow, another com oh my god. All right, this is great. So many components, that's perfect. I just need to make more parts now. Shout out. Liam, thanks for seven. Ooh. Iodine pills in there too. So the next thing is our environmental station. New subscriber shout out. Let's see if I can build a big turbine for that. And then we'll build our environmental station. Can I rotate that to go... Ah, too late. Too late. We'll build this here and then we'll build our environmental station. We also need to build nuclear waste storage. That's probably something we can't delete, so we'll probably put that over there. You're waiting for the devs to launch Ancient Cities since 2017? Now, some games disappear for a while, but I haven't heard anything about that game either. So we just need a few more 
metal parts and we're good. Now, what does the environmental shop need? Ah, there it is. Yeah, put that thing, like, over here. When we build, we'll probably build more industry here, logging here, and then more of the town over there, so it'll be far away from this. Ooh, survivors. Hell yeah. Oh, good. Six people. Come on in. Oh, we got a new scout, too. Somebody by the name of... S Sa Satoshi? Satoshi. With six move points. Awesome. Standard, I guess, but all right. Uh, let's go explore over there. He's got very good research, too. No defense and very little attack, though. He's, he's kind of a nerd. Excellent. More components brought back. Damn, 45 components. That's amazing. Uh, let's go north. Children? Yeah, well, the good thing is, is if, if they go to our school, when they grow up, they'll be more productive adults. You hear that, kids? Stay in school. Otherwise, you'll end up like a YouTuber like me, and oh, it'll be all over. Oh, good. The big, big old windmill's completed now. Yay! Now we can build our environmental storage and our endless building. Let's at least build one of our, uh... Boy, I don't know what we should build first. Concrete extractor? Certainly have enough metal. Well, I think metal's more important because we need it to make more parts. So let's go with... I think that one's the coolest, so I guess we'll go with that one. Then we'll do the concrete extractor next. And plastic we got plenty of, so... I'm not even going to worry about that one. Perfect. Alright, now let's build our environmental station. We can actually work change the work area of this so it doesn't matter where we build it. But I suppose we could build it like right in the middle of this stuff. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. I'll just put it there and start cleaning up all the nuclear waste here and there. And then we'll probably delete it and rebuild it somewhere else. Okay. Well, we got a lot of people now. So now we can probably start getting better housing too. Oh, uh, oh, that's actually going to be about 500. We don't have the points for that yet. Good. Now we have... Now it's like where you can really play the game because there's like unlimited materials. And good. Look at that. They're picking up metal. With a few of those, we'll be just fine. Good, the environmental station is done. Now let's get people to work on that. And let's make sure the farm field's got enough workers, too. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, up to the northeast. Fifty-five components delivered. Beautiful. Tato, keep going over here, bro. Is there such a thing as uh, too many glow sticks? Yeah, maybe at a overpopulated rave. Oh, look, guys. 
It's EA Game Studios. Oh, keep watching. They're about to make a new title. This one's called Microtransactions Simulator. The game. Oh man, here it goes. Oh yeah, look, it's in development now. Beautiful. So eventually that stuff will get put over here. Ah oh, damn, a magnetic storm now? Oh, that means the, the nuclear... Metal extractor, wind turbine, mechanic shop, and large wind turbine could be damaged. Oh boy. Now they're getting annoying. Credit card sim, the DLC. Yeah, the first part of the game is buying the DLC. Jerry, thanks for subbing. Oh good, another airport. Well, we certainly need more components. Um, but also research, too. We should go down there and kick that guy in the face. And then we'll have Sato go down there to pick up the research. New subscriber shout out. Bruno, thanks for subbing. Wheeler has whoa, four attack. Yeah, that's that's our attack man. Absolutely. Ninos, thanks for subbing. I think if we shut down the uh, wind turbines and all that stuff, I think they'll still get damaged, even if we turn them off. But I wonder, what's the point of building batteries if, like for example, the buildings that require power could be damaged anyway? Uh, ooh, look, a microtransaction going on. Green smoke. I wonder if you can demolish that. Oh, that's kind of cheap. Yes. Free bread for all the new subs. If we get a new member, everybody in chat get some Wendy's, Arby's, KFC's, some Domino's, whatever you'd like. We're all going to hand out. We're going to have a pizza party. So thanks, everybody, for helping to unlock those. It's been a lot of fun. Anything else here? Nine more components. Airport. Uh, that's kind of worth it, I think. Especially since there's a lot more stuff to build with components now. Alright, one more turn and then we Weaver Wheeler can start kicking butt. Nato, don't even try it, just stand by. They'll keep working during a magnetic storm. Yeah, but they could be destroyed themselves, right? Oh, you're saying that there's no power production during a magnetic storm unless you have the batteries. Got it. Well, let's take a look. What do we have for batteries? Is there's like a big battery rack now? Huh. Let's build one of those. Maybe we can build a big tull rack next, too. Bum, bum, bum. A lot of you guys come in, some of these random viewers come in with some really specific requests. Like, I just got one for play Call of Duty Blackout Multiplayer. Like, oh, there's some seeds here. Well, that's a wheat seed. Hell, what is that one? Oh, cabbage seed. No, I'll trade you potatoes for a wheat seed, bro. Hell yeah, now we can make bread. Awesome. Alright. Oh, Rob, thank you very much for dropping by. Oh, good, the battery rack is done. Now, how do we know if that's charged? Capacity 2000. Oh, there it is, storage. Ah, I see. So all the extra gets stored, just like with water. Speaking of which, let's add some uh, water storage, too. Each of those is worth 600, so 
That'll save us some water for when there's a, a drought. We haven't seen that yet, so we're overdue for that one. We're restoring 400 and... We'll probably be up to like 500 plus before we reach that. Alright, let's keep peeking around. Shout out. Uh, Sophia, thanks for subbing. All right, Wheeler, get in there and knock him out the box, Luke. All right, the next turn we should have him, and then we'll get research. Okay, so that's 1,200 storage. Oh wow, power gets gobbled up really quick. So you certainly want more more than one battery rack. Build another one of those. back tons of components. Come on, research. Nope. Oops. I will go one more. Oh, we gotta go again? Maybe Sato can knock him out. Oh, damn. Good job, bro. Yes. I right, get in there and get that research next turn. Good job. All right, we are on the road to 400 likes. So if you have not yet clicked or tapped the like button on the video, let me know you'd like to see more by dropping your like and showing support and love and all that positive feeling. Thanks everybody for being here. Just hanging out is really nice. Bum, 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 bum. You always watch my videos. Do you have that game? Well, if you if you, you watch my videos, you'd know I do. Derek, thank you very much for subscribing. It as I put up some videos on it earlier. Oh, good. Now we can build another battery storage. Cool. Now we can have lots of power and not worry about that ever again. Wow, everybody's got components. It's ridiculous. I just need to find some research that's not super dangerous. There's 702 sitting there, but I don't know if I want to risk Hakeem. Alright, we cleared that out. Nice work. All right, 751 is what we're at for research. Let's see what we can do now. Housing or water? I think I probably want to go for housing now. Let me check, though. That'll bring in water. Oh, well, that unlocks large battery racks. Eh, good for now. Reinforced gate and centralized repairs would be good. I found the proper flag symbol. Yes, I did. Damage is 20 per skull. Okay. Yeah, I was planning on r risking him at least until he took uh, like two damage. We'll go with housing. 
And then we'll try to go down the maybe food production now that we have the uh, grain seeds. Alright bro, risk it again. Good luck with 1 million subs. Well, we're over halfway there. So every time somebody clicks or taps that uh, subscribe button, it's it's making magic happen. Oh, good. All this will be moved out of here soon. We got four metal parts for that. That was beneficial. Alright, the next thing I think we need to make is the concrete extractor. And then also... I do want to do, uh, at some point, uh, logging over here. So let's see if we can get a concrete extractor going. Okay, let's go south. Okay. And as you get further and further away from camp, everything just becomes death. Alright. More research. We'll have to start beating up those bandits later. What will I do when I hit 600,000 subs? Uh, probably nothing special. We'll just, then we'll try to get to 7, then to 8, and then when we get around 900,000 subs, 7 to 700,000 to a million is going to be great. That's going to be our... going to be big. Big, big, big. Ah, oh, look at this. Now we're starting to really claim some good land here. And then we can build more farms up here. Maybe I can even do a forester up here. That'll be fine. so many components this is great we've got like another like New almost a hundred Jonathan thanks for subbing we're over a hundred we're gonna start coming back but we're gonna swing through this way Ah, some pills on the way out. Ryan Woodsmall has become a member. Welcome aboard. Let's get a ton of dipping sauce. That is our first new member of the evening. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you for helping in the battle against YouTube. Appreciate it. Fight that algorithm, baby. Absolutely. Lovely. Get that dipping sauce going. Mmm. Sweet taste of victory. Group of survivors have arrived at the gate. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Oh, now we're... Oh, wow. We got a guy named Rico. Exploration 5. Nice. Okay, we need to build some houses. And those people were injured, but that's fine. It was worth it. We'll get everybody on their feet. And let's go northwest with Rico. He's not the best guy in the world, but whatever. Another person to go back and forth on missions. Okay, let's get our new friends healed up here. And we need to deal with 14 homelessness. Two-story house, I think, is the best one we can build, right? Let's start building our neighborhood over here.
little nice little neighborhood over here. You know what would be really nice in this game is if you could build like outdoor activities for them like uh, baseball fields and stuff like to, to build a, a soccer field or a baseball field or something like that uh, really takes nothing at all. You loving the game you bought it a few days ago? Good. It's really playable now that they've added all the uh, all the stuff that allows you to actually um, mine forever. Cool. Alright, components are not needed as much anymore. Well, we're going to need to get some logging camps going soon. New subscriber shout out. I'm going to build that down here. Uh, Alexa, thank you very much for subscribing. Alexa, play Despacito. Uh, let's go with Forrester. I'm going to start planting trees over here now. build that person and then move our work area over here. Okay, how many people does this provide housing for? Uh, I guess it doesn't say. Exploring some good parts of the map here. Uh, I think you're talking about. Aren't you talking about the forest? Is the game where you survived the plane crash? Hi there, Alicia. How are you? Sky Marshall. Thank you for subbing. Ba -da -ba. Ooh, almost to 400 likes. Woo! Lots of support today. Thank you, everybody. Ooh, rattling at the gate. Oh, sorry. We don't have three corn. Sorry about that. I don't have any corn. Darn, I could have used that research. Well, at least it wasn't like it was 500 or something. We better grow some corn then, just in case. <clears throat> Let's go with corn. And wheat. And we'll keep doing potatoes on the big field. Pretty soon I'm going to have to start going with uh, trapping. Also in this game now, trappers require forests. So you'll also have to work with a forester in order to keep areas uh, forested for animals. Or you can increase an area. New subscriber shout out. Uh, what? Have I done any fighting this playthrough? Uh, yeah, we've done a little bit of fighting. Uh, oof. I don't know if I want him to go in there. Uh, alright, we'll risk it. It's 250, so... Oh wow, there's like marshland and stuff now. The map is a lot more interesting to see. Uh, Raptor, I don't have the sweet and sour emoji. Help. Uh, you should see it there. Can everybody do the sweet and sour emoji? It should be in the list. It should be at the end. Maybe you have to scroll down or something when you open the emotes. It should be there. Oh good, look at all the nuclear waste is cleaned up. Good. Now we'll get this section done, then we'll go over here. Oh man, this is great. We are seeing some real major improvements. Gotta get that house built. What are we missing? Oh, a lot of wood is still missing. Problem, because I haven't started logging yet. I 
I see where our problem is. Okay, we'll bring in a lot more wood now. And then we'll start making our uh, logging camps. Well, oh, there's all that sweet and sour. Maybe we can bring some logs back in the meantime. Well, it looks like this is a freebie over here. Or medicine. Let's have Hakeem hit it one more again. Good job, bro. Uh... Go for some more research. New subscriber shout out. David, thanks for seven. Nice. All right, we are negative in the power. Oh, it's because our concrete extractor went up. I can just shut that down for now. There we go. Get these batteries charged. I don't need concrete at the moment. We should probably build a logging camp forester now, so let's do that. Sawmill, is it? Cuts down trees. Okay. We're going to have these two work together. And we're going to cut down all the trees over here. Wow, look at all that lovely little dipping sauce. Beautiful. Wow, we got a lot of employees remaining. But we're starting to get all that wood back now. Alright, we're going to build homes next. Right, you go grab that medicine. And you get us some more research, bro. Awesome, we got it all. A little more scouting and then we're coming back. Bugs? What? Ah, more research. Up over a thousand again. Good. I'll take research for a thousand, Alex. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back. You love the videos? Keep up the good work? Thanks, Vitaly. How you doing? Chad is uh, enjoying the stream. I can see everybody's awfully quiet sometimes. That's how I know they're really enjoying it. That's how I know everybody's kind of just enjoying the hangout, I suppose. Okay, let's get all of our crop work done. So now we can drill for water. And then we should be able to get some more research. Knowledge preservation. Oh. I thought it would generate research. I got excited. Okay, so food will go for delicacies at some point, And we'll never have to worry about food again. Then we'll go down the reinforced gate. We'll probably get the medical center at some point, too. All right, Forrester, go ahead and Subaru over there. And a little bit more wood, and then we can build the logging camp. So wood won't be a problem anymore. Good. And power generation is taking place. Great. Still need some more houses. I'm just waiting for this nuclear waste to get out of the way so we can build more homes. It's going to be a beautiful little neighborhood over here. I believe it's Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Because I said so. All right, obviously, this is, that's going to require a lot of materials, but it'll be worth it. And we should be able to get them soon. Wow, we're going to bring back all the medicine. Team is done here. Let's just have him come back. He's hauling uh, 41 components. Eh, let's get greedy. Let's go for one more scout. Oh, undefended concrete. Beautiful. We'll bring that back too. How's he doing as a scout? Damager is three. Not bad. New subscriber shout out. Raphael, thanks for seven. Sato, bro. Roll them dice. 
uh, blowed up to the face. Oh well, we'll head back to base for repairs. Cool. Do do do. Still not working after restarting the app. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure what to say. It must be an issue on YouTube's end. Because I don't have any control over who can... And once you become a member, you should be able to see them. Can you use any emote? Maybe it's not registering you as a member yet. Reinforce gate, centralized repairs. Uh, I kind of want to save up for delicacies so we don't have to worry about food. Oh, good. Logging camp is ready. Get that wood, boys. Go. See, Zhang, you're ready to come back, I think. You got 42 components. Really not much around here anymore. Medicine would be good to get, though. Yeah, let's try to come back with something. Something other than our components. Ah, the last thing we can build is the plastic recycler, so let's put that down too. There we go. And we'll need another power source generating. Go northwest. Bum, 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 bum. You want me to banish somebody from town? Oh, <laughs> I see what you mean. <coughs> he's fine so long as he's actually out of town now. He's he's out there uh, scrambling around looking for ma materials and supplies for us. Not good. Eventually, all these homes will be built. Now we're cutting down all these trees, turning them into wood. Still lots of supplies out there for us to salvage with all of our idle workers. Cool. Scouts now. I don't think there's anything desperately that we need. Concrete, we're gonna build another uh, build another uh, power windmill thing here, and then as soon as that's done, we turn that on. So then concrete is taken care of. Metal's not too bad. Definitely dipping down a bit, but uh, we should probably build another extractor. Ooh, a pandemic. Well, that'll be fine. Pandemic is easy to deal with. There we go. That looks like only... If, apparently two colonists are homeless, but that looks to be more than two to me. There seems to be four plus people who are homeless. Bum, bum. 
Oh, people are at the gate. Twelve adults, five children. Oh, and somebody named Rose. Are you a riveter, perhaps, there, Rosie? Uh, I'll accept. We're building more homes for everybody, so that's fine. All right, we got tons of power now. Go ahead and resume production at the old concrete plant. And let's get everybody on farming. All right, slow it on down for a second. Hold on. And let's get farming going again. Oh, we have a greenhouse and insect farm, too. I forgot that we can actually build these. Ah, yeah, let's just build the open fields. They produce way more, anyway. There we go. And then let's get a trapper going. We'll have him go over there. Oh, looks like we had a plastic extractor working. Good. Could use a few more clothes, but... Alright, housing is being taken care of. Looks like we need a little bit more water. Let's build our boring well over here. Oh, this uh, pumps out 30 no matter where you put it. That's good. Put it right there next to the lake. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Hi, Gloria. How are you? Welcome to our little stream. Yeah, we got a lot more concrete to gain, it seems. Alright, let's grab some more antibiotics. Alright, good. Hi, Ace. Hello. Oh, that's cool. Wow, look at how destroyed this area looks. It looks like fire and tons of meteorites hit or asteroids. Oh, right, I forgot about Rosie the Riveter. Uh, Rosie, why don't you go? Wow, we're actually exploring most of the map here. We're getting to the edges. Uh, oh, wow. Dude, we've almost explored the whole map. Just the southwest corner needs a little, little extra love. Allison Wheat has upgraded to a little raptor. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. If you guys would like to as well, you can upgrade any time by clicking and tapping that uh, that bell and adjusting your membership as you see fit. Pretty cool that they let you do that. Wow, 20 people are homeless now. We need a lot more wood to build this. Concrete is being gathered. Looks like wood's being cut down as quickly as possible, too. Yeah, it takes 45 wood. I would imagine this is pretty expensive. Bum, bum. Hi there, Pyro House. How you doing? And Benny with the dipping sauce. That is that is a tasty victory, my man. Thank you for the support. All right. In, insufficient construction materials for the trapper. Ah, we'll get to it. We just need uh, more and more wood to be cut down. Let's go with food over here. Let's go for wheat. And let's assign some more workers. So then I'm going to start building our uh, bakery. I don't know if I can do that yet. Uh, not yet. I need to unlock it under delicacies. Oh, we need more research. That's what it is. Margaret. Hi there. Todd Holter with the dip and sauce for Taco Bell, KFC, Wendy's. Some breaking news. Arby's loves Bob Ross, I think. <laughs> Thank you for the support. All right. So the only thing left to do then is to build a bunch of houses. Uh, and then we just need the materials to actually build them. So it's just going to take a little bit of time until we gather those up. Are we making corn some more? Wheat, potatoes, cabbage, corn, wheat. Let's go with more corn. Good. Pandemic is coming soon, so we'll need uh, a few more thingies for that. Wow, this takes a lot of wood. We are producing wood, so it shouldn't take much longer. Is there any lumber we can find nearby? I know there was a source nearby. Uh, unless we grabbed it. Oh, there it is. 
72 over here. Everybody's so far away from camp. Alright, let's start recalling everybody. Good for you. Grab the rest of that concrete. Ah, Zang can stop there. Perfect. Alright, we'll bring back a bunch of wood. We'll be able to build a few homes. Looks like a clothing store there. Let's get everybody RTB. Rosie, let's pick up some wood, too. We're going to stop by the lumber liquidators. Yay! Very cool. Insect farm. Yeah, we can actually uh, grow insects there. We can also find them out in the field. Ooh, the... Yes! Oh! 205 research. Maddie, thanks for subbing. Go, girl. Give me that research. All right, so what I want to do now is try to do... Let's see. Maybe, f oh yeah, delicacies. Perfect, now we can start using that wheat. Then we can build a big O restaurant. We'll make a giant like Hardee's, uh, Taco Bell, Denny's, all in one. What did the update do? Uh, this so YouTuber sucks. <laughs> Mom, where's my hot pocket? The update adds endless resources now. So forever, we can harvest metal, concrete, and plastic by building these little extractors. And then so long as we keep them powered, we can continue on producing uh, that stuff. So what I can do is add another... I can add some more windmills and then continue to add more uh, resources and continue to do that. Right now I'm cutting down trees and trying to pick up some lumber so we can finish everybody's housing. But that is it for me tonight, everybody. So thank you very much. Let's get up to 400 likes on the way out. Let's do it. Say we had a, a good night then. I'll be back tomorrow for some more Transport Fever 2 in the uh, midday my time. And then we'll come back for more... Uh, surviving the aftermath later on. So if you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Leave a like. Please do consider becoming a member by clicking and tapping that join button as well. Appreciate everybody uh, for subscribing, liking, and doing whatnot. And I appreciate everyone being here. Welcome aboard Caspian BR and Maddie and everybody else who subscribed. You guys are fantastic. All right, I'm out of here. I'm going to go have some steaks. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks for dropping by, leaving a like, and I'll see you soon. Good night, everybody.